because again, I didn't have time to do yeah. school. Mm. And the only reason I could keep the scholarship is if I kept getting good grades. Sure. Yeah. So I had this girl who I was paying $500 a semester for, and she was doing all of my classes. <laughs> And so that's how I kept the scholarship going, and I kept pulling more and more money Bro out was of hustling. it. Oh yeah. my so the God. trick to being a voice actor is fraud. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another episode of Trash Taste. I'm your host for today, Gant. Joining me once again are the boys, and we have a special guest with us today. Do you want to introduce yourself to our audience? No. Who are you? <laughs> what, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm so nervous, guys. <laughs> I'm so scared. Sound like you're about to cry. <laughs> uh, Hi, everybody. My name is Alex Lee. I am an English voice actor. Yes. And, uh, not, not just a English voice yeah. actor. You've voiced <laughs> you, in like pretty much everything. Yeah. I, I think it's easier for us to name the stuff you haven't voiced in. There's That's the stuff you have yeah. voiced in. Yeah. Um, Dude, your this, IMDb this is, is This is, what the f <laughs> I, I, what is happening? How did you get all these? Who okay, you? okay. Without, with, without without watching some of these, without listening to some of these, what what are some of the roles that? What's the first roles that right, pop up in your mind right, if you right, like have right. to sell sell someone? Um, you will know me, or you might know me mm. as uh, Zeni Tzu from the English dub of Demon Slayer. Damn, mm -hmm. that's that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Luke from Street Fighter Six. That's nice, another nice. one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the protagonist from Persona Three Reload. Hell yeah, that's yeah. another one. Um. We got Mash from Mashal. Hell yeah. And most recently, Sung Jinu from Solo Leveling. And uh, God, Kaiman from Dora Hidoro. There's, there's a lot. There's, keeps going. There's a oh lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I noticed they're all like main, the main characters. The main role. You, 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 forgot, you, you forgot one of the biggest ones last year, in, in my opinion, uh, Villain Saga. Yes. Thorfinn. Thorfinn from Villain Saga. Yeah. That's so goaded, bro. <laughs> I love that show. I love that show yeah, much. you've you voiced in a lot of high profile uh, productions, but uh, we've 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 had dinner before, and you've had like one of the most interesting origin stories I've probably <laughs> like ever heard for like a voice actor. That's true. That's or true. like in the industry. So like, okay. F first off, like. What was like? What was your childhood like? What, like, let's let's go. Let's go all the way back. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's, let's go wow, all the way. Yeah. Let's go all the way back to the That's beginning, man. Easy, let's go all the way. Yeah. Let's go oh, all the way gonna, back to the. Let's just gonna, jump right into therapy it. Therapy man. session. I'm leaning. Yeah. Therapy right. session. You good, man? So you good? I was born. Yeah, yeah. So I was born in Asia, um, and I lived in a lot of the Asian countries when I was younger, like mm. three or four of them. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I turned like ten that I got the once in a lifetime opportunity to move to America. That's okay. like striking gold. Once you know? in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, is that rare? You, go, you go from poverty Asia and then you go like pee <laughs> to America. And then you go there and you're like, what the fuck? They give out Shrek toys with the McDonald's, your, your food. So it was a once in a lifetime opportunity right. to go to America. Yeah. And um, once I was there, I had to learn English. And uh, when I first came to America, I remember it was a it was a very hard thing for me to do because I never spoke any English right. prior to that. Right. I remember my parents tried to get me into um, English programs, okay. yeah, but yeah. they didn't realize that in order to get into English programs in Asia, uh. you have to know some English. <laughs> So they they took me to this like prestigious place. Yeah. They spent a lot of money. They're like, this is a lot of our savings. So pass this test, please. And I'm like, how? <laughs> I, I never had any time to study. So I went there oh, and gosh. the first English test was like, name the anatomy parts in English. Oh and I was like, I don't know anything. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, What's I'm, the powerhouse of the cell? Yeah. I'm sorry, guys, it's <laughs> over. And then, uh, yeah, I failed, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So oh, when no. I came to America, I only knew three words. I knew toilet. Okay. That's a good one. That's, 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 that's okay, important. Important. useful, very useful, very yeah. Yeah. useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew chicken. That's great. Also that's great. great, yeah. It's yeah. a good food, it's yeah. a great food. Yeah. And then I knew um, tiger. Okay, well, <laughs> okay. not so useful. No, 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 but it's cool. And that's why I knew well, it. Cool. Tell yeah, it is cool. Asia that's, the Asia. that's the only thing I knew when I was looking so, through the English dictionary. I'm like, this picture is- like, I'm gonna so, remember this one. So I'll like, remember this word. Even before like, hello, thank you, or like, yeah. chicken tiger. No, that's to <laughs> toilet. Chicken tiger toilet? <laughs> chicken tiger toilet, <laughs> please. So I learned English later on. I think I, when I went to school, I learned, I actually de-learned or unlearned English. Really? My English is worse. I said de-learned. De de yeah, de de <laughs> perfect example of how my English is terrible. Uh, that's impressive. Wait, so you, wait. How, wait, so how, how old are you, sorry, when you started learning? 
English then. I was 10 when I started learning English. Yeah. 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 Do, you, so, do you guys remember learning English? Because I think we all have a similar experience. Was English like the first language you learned or was it Japanese? Uh, technically for me, it was my second language, but yeah, I kind of learned it at the same time as Japanese. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because I, I learned Thai first. Right. And then my, because my mom was like, you're going to learn English in school. Right. And I don't have like any recollections of this because I, you know, it, I was like so young at the time, mm. but apparently I like the first day of school, I just did not know what was going on because I couldn't understand anyone. So I just fucking cried all day until my <laughs> mom picked me up on the first day of that's school. That's one way to do it. I, I, I yeah. that's one way to do it. So you, presumably you speak another language too then as well? Or? Yeah, uh, it's it's kind of lost to time though. Oh, right? oh, that's, okay. that's how it is. With, that's, that's what America yeah, yeah. does to you. Okay. But <laughs> I, I also had the same experience because yeah. um, they were actually gonna put me in like two grades below because they were like, he doesn't mm. know how to speak English. Right, right. Yeah. And then, um, my mom, uh, at the time, she was very gung ho about me, you know, being successful yeah. in school. So she yeah. was like, "I'm ripping Asian this parent. shit up." It's like, nah, <laughs> She's like, nah. He's he's gonna join he's the regular to- grade with all the regular kids and nah, all the regular things. <laughs> yeah. So I went in there with all these like American kids, yeah. and I'm yeah. like, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, I don't know anything. Yeah. So my first year was it was very hard. She damn, um, damn. she basically like locked me in a room and she was like, here's a uh, a YouTube channel where there's this guy with curly hair right. and he's like, I'm going to teach you what a verb is. <laughs> And it was like the name of the channel. It, I don't remember. I wish I. I Dude, wish I remember. Like but it was like it was like six years, six hours every single day of me just like you're not gonna find it. He's <laughs> lost the <laughs> time. He's, 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 he's lost the time. Long time ago. He might come up. It was such. It was such. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was like it was just absolutely torture of six hours a day just so learning just, English from some guy. Wait, so you learn English from YouTube? Well, that's the thing. I learned words from YouTube. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. He doesn't okay. really teach you how to string sentences together. Sure. Yeah. Um, at the time, even before I came to America, there were a lot of shows that I had watched that were already in English. There was, um, I saw the Dragon Ball dub. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a huge part of my childhood. Um, and there oh, shit, was also- wait. You didn't watch, there wasn't like a local Asian dub? Oh where... no, there were absolutely local Asian yeah. dubs. Yeah. But when you live in like, I don't know, it, back then the situation was we didn't have a lot of money at yeah. all. Mm. So everything we got was illegal. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, like yeah. the games that I was playing was on like one shared family computer and it was all ROM hacks. Like boot, boot yeah, like yeah, stuff, yeah. right? And yeah. the- and the I mean, same for me. Yeah, yeah same yeah. for me. And the DVDs and Blu-rays oh, yeah. people would oh, yeah. bring home were just also like, just like counterfeit shit. Yeah. So it was like a, a disc with like a banana on it. And then it would have the, in Sharpie, like Dragon Ball episode 27. And when I was young, I thought how it worked was that if you just grab any disc and you write what you want on it, it just magically it becomes that. So I, I was like, I like snuck into my mom's room. I took a disc. I'm like, Dragon Ball episode 47. I put that shit in the DVD player. Nothing. It's like, why Dragon Ball? <laughs> to but, be fair, CDs pretty much work like magic when you're- Yeah, in yeah, 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 right? yeah. You don't understand but, how laser engraving yeah, works. No, so I yeah. saw a lot of like, I saw Dragon Ball in like four different languages and oh, I was just wow. rolling with it. I was like, I, you know, it's yeah. the same to me. You're yeah. Yeah. Your fucking language. yeah, 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 exactly. I, I was watching like Super Sentai, um, Kamen Rider on the Mr. Oh. Bean for some reason. Mr. Bean. <laughs> Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean needs Mr. no language. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is a silent he, film, he you know, basically. Yeah. yeah. And um, one of the first cartoons that they started airing in mm-hmm. Asia was Ben 10. Oh, so hell I, I mean, yeah. That sure. was like my introduction to like, oh, this is what English sounds like kind of, right. and Dragon Ball. Mm. And then when I came to America, I remembered I got into a lot of trouble because we didn't have cartoons on the go in Asia. Uh, right. Yeah. So in America, I was like, what is on demand? <laughs> and I started watching that shit like crazy. Uh, and then like the next day, I think like my stepdad's mom found out that I was using on demand and they were like, just cost us $50 watching, what is this, SpongeBob SquarePants? I mean, and I'm like, uh, sorry. I mean, money well spent if you yeah. ask me. Yeah, so yeah. I watched a bunch of cartoons, a w- bunch of like anime dubs, and mm. that's kind of how I started to learn English and that's put together wild, how people spoke. You yeah, know? yeah. But that's wild that like it, like you started learning, a, a, you know, English at a pretty like relatively yeah. later hey, stage in your hard, life man. for then, for you to then, <laughs> Voice all of these roles. Considering the career English? you have that now, is, that is kind of yeah. a crazy. That's wild, bro. Yeah. That I think about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Did you move to Canada for a while? Or I did. Um, when I was around like in the middle of high school, I, mm. I moved there, and uh, that's kind of when I became independent. Right. Uh, I yeah. started 
living alone at the age of 14 and Wait, what yeah yeah Damn, that's like some anime protag <laughs> shit <bro. laughs> well, that's what it was it was it i could get into it but it's really weird it yeah. was like canada was like a different land it, it felt like being in the twilight zone <laughs> okay, okay because okay. wait, wait you, you, you gotta you gotta yeah, expand no no no, 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 no. Yeah. every I mean, canadian was like, watching was like hmm, it was like, like i lived expand. in i lived in vancouver so right, right the population is mostly asian people yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. when i when i came to vancouver i was like oh Fuck, because you, you, you know, be well, Asians? it's like the expectation for Asian oh. kids is that they're really academically like up there. And right. yeah. They're super smart. And I'm like, I'm going to be the dumbest piece of shit there. <laughs> we were so, like, bro, I just learned English. Yeah, man. Yeah. I was like, man, I just learned how to speak. Now I'm going to get like bodied and everything else. <laughs> but when I moved there, for some reason, their curriculum was like super easy to me. <laughs> yeah. And I think the way it was is because they're very easy on the grading. Sure. Yeah. Like 100 to 80 is an A, 80 yeah. to 70 is a B. And um, their, for some reason, their curriculum was like two years behind what I was doing in America. And mm. I was doing like AP, oh, advanced placement stuff. I think right. that means nothing to all of us. Yeah. 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 yeah we don't so uh, my Americans will know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, when I came to Canada, it was a, it was a surreal experience because my, my parents had... Um, basically left me alone because they had other obligations. You sure. Right. Uh, so I was living alone right next to my school. It was about a two minute walk. Uh -huh. And I would just walk to school, do my stuff, go home, make lunch, sometimes mm -hmm. fall asleep and then never show up to class. <laughs> yeah. And okay. I, I did you did you have a job back then or were you just I um I did. I, I did some part time jobs here and there just to right. make a little bit of money. Sure. But I, I also had like the the um I was lucky enough to have family who knew somebody who had a place and they were like, we can rent it to you for cheap. So okay, was, okay. They were renting to a 14 year old? <laughs> yeah, it was like 400, 400 Canadian dollars a month. That sounds like it's, breaking, a, Christ. That sounds like it's breaking a lot of laws. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the fucking Asians in Canada, they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. It's like, guess you're so. one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, you're made right. But I'm ahead, I'm like, I could, you can't imagine a, 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 an Asian man seeing a 14 year old kid in his house and he's like, 450. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like you can get 450 yeah. together. Like I, that's crazy. That's when I that's when I felt like at the I probably I don't know. It was like when I felt at the top of my in control of my life, you know? That's when you, <laughs> when you were 14. No, no, no. It was like it, huh? it was it, it's a different thing because I grew up with, you know, based on what I'm telling you, like my yeah. parents were very much like I don't, I don't think they had a very good basis or idea of how to raise a child. They were like, we want great yeah, things from okay. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna yeah. push you somewhere, yeah. do that thing. So it was a lot of pressure growing up and you know, I don't want to get too much into it, but yeah. it was like, yeah, yeah. it got to a point where I used to be very much nonverbal and like mm, non communicative. Yeah. And at some point when you, when you just push the envelope on on somebody too much, mm, yeah. they kind of have like a breaking point. Mm. Sure. And when they break, they have like, an awakening. Mm, yeah. Right. So I feel like my very first one was when I was kind of like 12 years old. That's when I remember for the first time having thoughts of my own where I can be like, I want to do this. Here's what I want to do. Yeah. Damn, yeah. that Damn. on top of puberty, your brain was an over. I know. Brain. Well, because before that, it was just like, oh, mom wants me to do this. Mom sure. wants me to do that. Um, you know, expectations for Asian families are just that you need to succeed. You need to be good at school. You need to be good yep. at sports. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, as a child and I, again, I didn't talk until I was like eight years old or mm. something like that. Yeah. I was just like, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yeah. And yeah. then eventually they keep wanting more and more and more until you kind of snap in your head. Then you're yeah. like, right. what the hell am I doing? Sure. Yeah. So 12 was when I started having my first thoughts. That's and then, crazy. This is, this is this is what people like sometimes realize when they're like in their mid twenties. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wait, 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 you guys weren't thinking when you were 12? <laughs> No, I was, not so much. I was still shitting my pants. Uh, not, not, 12, not so right? much shit. Not, not so much shitting my pants. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a Joey thing. That's a thing. <laughs> but like in terms of, uh, you know, especially in like Southeast Asian culture, where you know, sometimes a lot of a lot of people from Southeast Asia, their parents, they have one priority, and that's like surviving for a lot of the times. Okay. Uh, and you know, they want their kid to do this and they want their kid to do that. And there's a vague push, yeah. but there's not so much there's of no, a- there, There's no real directive behind it. Yeah. You mm. get an opportunity like America, mm. which yeah. is, you know, a land filled with opportunities. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you go there and you say, all right, go fucking succeed kid. Yeah. How? Oh. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Be a doctor, yeah, be yeah, an yeah, yeah, engineer. Right. Yeah. And right. when, when I had my awakening, I, 
I started thinking for myself and over time I started to notice the patterns more. And then finally, when I lived in Canada, that was like the first time I ever felt like I'm on my own. I'm doing my own thing. Mm. And this, this feels good. This is what it feels like Damn, to be man. alive. So you know? what is it that you kind of like realized? What was it that you wanted to do at that time of like 12, 14? Well, uh, I mean, when I was in Canada, I lived there for a couple of years and yeah. I was doing really well academically and you know i was still super awkward mm. but mm -hmm. i think there, there's kind of like a weird charm to somebody who's really awkward yeah you know yeah, yeah, like yeah, the, the transfer student who doesn't say anything or do anything yeah. ever it's, it's more like usually sits in the back of the closet you're like, yeah, yeah, curious. Yeah. You're like what's that dude's deal yeah it's and mysterious yeah, it's mysterious yeah. it's cool you know you're around the same people all the time you know when, some, when someone new gets introduced you're like oh, yeah interesting i was just like the reality was that I was just really awkward. And I didn't know how to make any friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I was always, that's people awesome. would approach me and I would just be like, mm. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think that made people want to approach me even more mm. yeah. um, somehow. But I felt good because it was like, for the first time in my life, people are paying attention to me mm. and asking me to hang out. And because before that, I never had that. I was like, you know, always the awkward immigrant, you know, because yeah, right. it's different when you're surrounded by people who, Cause I lived in Florida, yeah, and the Floridians did you not give a Florida. fuck about some Asian guy. Yeah, yeah, they saw an Asian kid and they yeah. were like, "Throw his bike against the wall," you know. <laughs> so for for the longest time, I was like, "If I can be invisible, they won't pick on me." Right. And then oh, when right. I came to Canada, like some light Yagami esque. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I when I came to Canada, I was like, "I'm invisible, but why are people trying to pay attention to me even more?" Right. You know, right. Such, like, I'm jealous because like I do that shit and I'm like I'm just actually invisible. I, I, <laughs> I remember my high school years. I was like, well. I don't speak to anyone. No one speaks to me. I mean, I was fine with that. Well, it, um, that happened to me when I came back to America um, right, right. because my student visa ran out. Mm -hmm. So I was like, mm. I was kicked out of Canada and I was so upset about it because my life was so good there. Mm. I was yeah. finally starting to work out. I got into like powerlifting and then I started competing. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, I was like 200 pounds. I was huge. I was making food, going to the gym oh, every morning. Yeah, yeah. I showed you the picture. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. showed me the picture. It, it's pretty which, funny. Yeah, when he, I, when he was like, yeah, I powerlifted. I did competitive, uh, competitive powerlifting. I was like, what kind of life have you had, man? <laughs> it's like when you, you're a kid and you live alone, you don't have anything else to do. You're like, what can I get into, you know? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're like wait, literally wait. feeling. <laughs> you're feeling every branch of the Most right kids now. I know they play wait. video games what, and. Uh, what age did you start doing this? Powerlifting and stuff yeah. like that. When I when I was in Canada was the first year that I started lifting. So how, how fourteen. Let me see. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> Something like that. I got into Bullshit. really <laughs> no, powerlift at fourteen. Right. I got into really really good shape when I was like. Um, Turning like 16, 17, well, okay. stuff like See, that. That makes more sense because you get more into sports. Well, yeah, that's when I started was yeah, yeah. when I was really young. You I know? mean, I, I was... say bullshit because I'm jealous. I wish I had done that. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I, like, that. I used to just fuck around on quad bikes all weekend. Hey, you know what? I cardio. Didn't even, I didn't even go outside, bro. Yeah, bro. You, you, you guys went outside? Well, like when you, when you say like, I started thinking for myself. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? Like, what are you, what are we, what well, are we not doing? For me, it's, I've, I've always no, been no, very- no, 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 for these guys. I'm like, I why are they thought? I've always been very absent. We, we just go and like fuck around on okay. the farm and do so our this own thing is for a, like two days. Yeah, my, is, my thing was, ah, oh, I just play video games. I like yeah. I did that too. I, mean, I, like, I like fucking shit up. This is when yeah. I started, you know, I'll, I'll send you guys pictures you can put on this. Yeah. <laughs> this is when I started trying to figure it out. Damn, so big I, boy. I was like, oh, I want to get big like those fucking oh, you all, superhero yeah, guys. Big, yeah. And then I was like, I'm going to learn how to like lift weights and do this and that. And uh, it was fun. It was, it gave me new perspective mm, on life, yeah. basically. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. Why, why did you stop powerlifting? Or was um, it just because you moved back to America? I think I everything I do, I get hyper obsessed with right, it. Right, okay, right. yeah. So I got so obsessive to the point where I blew out my elbow and then oh. also my shoulder. So That's I had to stop. Good time to stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good time so to stop. The doctors were like, you shouldn't do this anymore. And I'm like, but I'm so jacked, dude. <laughs> I'm so fucking strong, I can't stop. <laughs> and then I, I didn't stop and then yeah. It was just, yeah, it was just gone. So. And damn. then uh, I got a job, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when that normally you, does it. That normally, yeah, for most yeah, people, yeah. That does when you, when you get it. a job, you, you just don't really what, have what much was your, you What was your first anymore. job then? Uh, my my first job ever um, was when I was younger, when yeah. I was around 14, mm. I was delivering mail. Oh, nice, so nice, I was nice. working okay. for like the post office. Mm. I, I opted to do the uh, later shifts when they're just loading the boxes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Because I didn't like 
you know, talking to people. I didn't know how to drive. Sure, sure. So yeah, I was yeah. like, I'm just going to put these boxes on, on top of each other. And <laughs> so then, the bodybuilding arc started. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. like, damn, I'm going to lift it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, this is great. And so after I was back in America, I was like, my future is ruined. Everything mm. is ruined. I had such a good life in Canada. I was strong. I was, you know, people liked to, to talk to me. Mm. Yeah. Um, I had a great future. I was like, I'm going to go to university with all my friends. I'm going to go to the nice university and mm. live that college life. And then once I was basically deported, I was like, well, oh no, I'm back GGs. in. I was back in Florida. I was so low. I had to go back to Floridian school and, and see like the first thing I saw when I walked in was like some girl on a leash next to some guy. And I'm like, all right, the least we <laughs> we're, Florida. we're back in America. Uh, this is very depressing for me. Damn. Um, How old were you when you moved back to Florida? I, I think I was around like 17 or 18. Okay, so, okay. so then yeah. how did how did the powerlifting thing, it, how did it go from powerlifting to voice acting? Because it seems pretty much the other side of the space. That was the thing was that when I was in Canada, I wanted to be a physical trainer. Okay. I wanted to be a personal trainer yeah. um, because I was like, oh, I really love this like lifting thing. I mm -hmm. feel like it sets me apart from everybody else. Um, or at least everybody else that I knew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, you know, I'm not really into academics or being a lawyer or a doctor. Yeah. Maybe if I, if I do lifting, I could, you know, I could look good. I could mm -hmm. feel great. I could help other people. That's the, that's the goal. And then once I went back to America, I was so depressed that I just kind of just <laughs> vegetated and rotted away in bed oh, for right, a long right. time. And, um, I was like, well, what now? And I started watching anime again. <laughs> Damn, that was, checks that's out. What yeah, when yeah, I had yeah. A vegetative state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was checks like, out. I'm gonna watch anime again. And before all of that, I, my very first love, passion for anything was art. Right. Um, when I was really, really young, like like I said, I didn't talk until I was like eight ish. Mm, right. How I used to communicate. Well, I didn't communicate. Mm. What I used to do was I was just drew. I yeah. like drawing. My first ever ever drawing that i can remember was that i drew uh kakashi from naruto yeah <laughs> oh, and that was yeah. the hell that yeah. was the first doodle i ever did yeah right i started drawing you know the fucking dragon ball characters yeah the, yeah, yeah the <laughs> super saiyan six dragon ball characters <laughs> i was doodling those and then oh, i yeah. drew pokemon i'm like i love drawing yeah yeah and then i was like you know what i'm gonna be a mangaka right, so that right. my first awakening was 12 years old and i was like that's my future path. <laughs> I love anime. I love manga. I love drawing. Yeah. This is what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah? And Hell then yeah. I started imagining a future for myself. I'm like, I'm going to be 43. Uh, it's going to be Christmas Eve. My assistant's going to come in and be like, hey, you sure you don't want to celebrate Christmas with us? And I'm going to be like, no, I'm good. And then she's going to leave. And then I'm going to pass out and die alone on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be my life. Why, why is it that your vision for the future is like the bad end of a story? Yeah, yeah. Like, no, it's, it's the most realistic version for me. You know? <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, that's... I will pursue my passion yeah, you with all yeah. my heart. Sick. Yeah. Sick. And then I will die with honor as a as a great manga artist. Holy shit. But then I, when I you know when I grew older and I started lifting, I was like, man, drawing's fucking hard. I can't do yeah, this yeah. anymore. Yep. Yeah. And then when I started watching anime again, I was like, I still love anime and mm. I still love manga and I still love this mm. way of storytelling in this world. Um what else can I do? Yeah, you don't want to draw. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to draw. Yeah. And then I, you know, turned on Toonami and then I heard, you know, English dubs and I was like, well, I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> I can probably do this. I'm pretty, right yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty good at English for now. Yeah. So maybe I do this. But how it happened was that it was like a hot summer day. And I was sitting there in my fucking tank top eating udon. All of a sudden I just thought, what if I became an anime voice actor? I think I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to that. Holy shit. And then that's that's how it all started for me. Yeah. If there's one thing Just I already know at this point of hearing your story is that once Alex has dedicated to something, <laughs> he fucking goes for it, bro. Like, like, there Just, is no think, stopping this. It's, man. it's a hyper obsessive yeah, component. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> it's like someone reaching enlightenment in like the Floridian sun in a tank yeah, top. Just like <laughs> no, I think I think we need a voice act now. Yeah, yeah. And I see like, it now the the Florida heat gets to you. <laughs> <laughs> your third eye. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I will be a voice actor. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Vessi. Gentlemen, ladies, you should know by now if you've watched enough Trash Taste just how much we 
freaking love we that scene. We love shoes. it. We and there is a good shoes. reason for it because they provide the best shoes for only any occasion, the best. The for best. any day, I for can't any think weather. of anything better. That's right. Rain, sleet, snow, or shine. Mm-hmm. Vessi has your feet in check. And luckily for you, they have the brand new summer essentials. First off being the Stormburst Low Top. Oh my God. These beautiful specimens, Ooh. but who can forget the Weekender as well, which you can pick up now. Stormburst Vessies are your go-to for everything from city street to outdoor adventures, enhancing your style and activity with ease. And they're also highly versatile and have high performance. But Connor, don't forget, they also have the Weekend I sneakers know. as well, which embrace any weather with a range of different uh-huh. colors and styles and the absolute ultimate comfort emphasizing the, the lightweight and breathable design that makes these sneakers a joy to wear. Discover more at vessi.com slash trash taste. Get a pair today to get an automatic 15% off your first purchase at checkout and be ready to stay cool and dry. And trust me with Vessies, you will always stay cool and dry. Thank you to Vessi for sponsoring this video. Back to the show. <laughs> so how do you go from Florida to voice acting? Yeah, how do you go from in, Florida uh, man to voice acting? Yeah, because yeah, you know, yeah, obviously yeah. a lot of the voice acting as well is not in Florida. So. Yeah. Yeah. And how old were you when you had this uh, awakening? It was, it was right back after I got back from Canada. Okay, so around, okay. Like 16, so around 17, around yeah, 18, 17, 18. Yeah, 17, 17, 18. Yeah, yeah. 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 So right after that, you know, the timeline's confusing for me as well because yeah. it's just been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To put it all into perspective. But um, yeah, I once I had that idea i was like what can i do to get this off the ground and i started looking online my like people ask me all the time like how do you become a voice actor and i tell them i just googled that shit man i, I don't know <laughs> how, how to help become voice actor. <laughs> yeah that's literally yeah. what i did i just yeah. googled how to be a voice actor and um you know i did a bunch of research i dedicated myself to just figuring out other people's stories mm. how they got into the industry mm-hmm. i basically started doing fan dubs and no, that's what like, most people do. Yeah, yeah. Well, they did. Uh, I'm like, with this generation. Yeah. yeah, to start somewhere, you gotta first overcome your fear. And I had a huge fear of public speaking because mm-hmm. I, you know, I always wanted to be invisible. So mm-hmm. to yeah. be, suddenly become somebody who's very present and In vocal, the limelight. Yeah, it was a super difficult switch, and I had to like overcome that fear of like, oh, I should just yell my brains out, and if my neighbor comes down and yells at me, that's fine. You know, <laughs> no yeah. name. So it was like yeah. I, I had to condition myself to do that. I had to condition myself to get over stage fright. Mm. You know, and I that's yeah, something well, I still well, didn't get over for a very long time. But it was a good start. Mm. Yeah, um, I started doing. You know what my main method of learning acting is because i didn't have the money for acting classes mm-hmm. yeah, and um, <laughs> yeah no no acting classes are like if you want a good one it's like 600 dollars for a couple hours so it's like you know mm. voice acting classes are also really expensive like that and i was just like i i can't afford that so what yeah. i did was that i would watch anime or cartoons mm. or even movies and anytime they said a line i would repeat it right. so like Something I loved doing was I would put on like trailers yeah. and I would hear a line from the trailer and I would say it back exactly mm-hmm. like that. Like that like in the world. Like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or like if somebody's screaming, fucking Leonardo DiCaprio is screaming, I'm like, yeah. I, was, I would start screaming like him. It's cringe, wow. but it helps you learn because that's yeah, how yeah. I learned how to draw too, was that I started Just tracing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I traced a lot until I got a feel for it. Sure. That's the same thing I did for acting is yeah, that I totally. just kept imitating until I got a feel and then I, I developed an ear for what sounded mm. good. Yeah. And I think like I did it 16 hours, 16 to 18 hours a day, every single day. And this was, this is like hobbyist level stuff, but I I never got paid for any of it. Yeah, It was just a hobby. Yeah, And I was just like, but if I want to get good at this, I need to dedicate that time. Was there some Minecraft fan dubs with- Oh my God, actually, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Don't look it up. (laughs) Don't look it up. What is it? Because uh, back then, you know, on, online, which I think is pretty, we were, must have been around a similar time frame. I think it so. It was all just fan dubs, yeah, a lot of does. Minecraft, a lot of Minecraft yeah. stuff. Minecraft, right, right. Minecraft fan dubs, a lot of- uh, A bridge series yeah, as well. Bridges, yeah, a huge one. Yeah. I mean, I, I never had the, back then I never had the comedic chops to get into those or what all was right. considered like internet funny, you know? Mm. Yeah. But I, yeah. I tried my best to get some experience by doing those. Mm. And after a while, I was like, I think like two to four months of doing that, I was like, okay, what's the next step is to make yourself a demo reel. So I just, you know, I got in my recording closet. It wasn't a recording closet. It was just a regular closet. I mean, that, that works. That as long yeah. as you have enough clothing in there, that's I mean, like- Yeah, uh, closing and- uh, Yeah, trade secret. Yeah. And I, I made my own demo and then I put like sound effects and shit on it. Mm. And I'm like, that sounds good enough to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the next step for that was getting representation. Um, and I was still living in Florida. 
Yeah. And from my friends, I made friends who lived in California who were also trying to get into voice acting. Mm. From what they were telling me is that um, you need an agent. And I'm like, okay, actors need agents. How do you yep. get one? Uh, apparently, you have to submit yourself and then just pray to God that they give you a chance. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay, that's a little bit harder. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because I'm in Florida. That's yeah. not going to help me. Yeah. So I did a ton of research. I reached out to a ton of agencies. And this is very frowned upon, but I, I did it because I was a young kid. I was very yeah. nice. Yeah. Like the, the number one thing you're not supposed to do yeah. is contact You're them. not supposed to contact them without a referral. Yeah. And, right. But I was so like, I just did not give a fuck. I was yeah. like, I <laughs> called, this so badly, I right? called them and I was like, hi, do you guys take demo reels? And they're like, no. And I'm like, well, are you sure? And they're like, no. And I'm like, all right. Well, here it is anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm going to send it anyway. Way, yeah. <laughs> so I, um, yeah, I, I had a list of agencies I wanted. So I was like, fuck, this is the dream agency for me. And I really right. want to get into this. Mm. How do I introduce myself? I was lucky that they happened to be accepting demos at the time. Because at the start of every year, they kind of clean out their talent. You know, who they don't want to work with anymore and who they want to keep working with. And I took that as an opportunity to send them an email. Nice. And... Um, I basically lied about everything on the email. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that's, that's what you got to do. I'm so annoyed when I tell people, dude, do you have to do this kind of shit? Like, yeah. You know you can deliver lying yeah. about you have the, to. the dumb details. So you, you have to. I What I did was that, I think I was like 17 or 17 or 18 at the time. I, I contacted the, uh, the main person in charge of animation. And I was like, hey, the, my name is Alex Lee. I would love to be a voice actor. Um, what can I do? And then she was like, well, sweetie, you need, uh, you need a demo reel. You need a resume. You need this and that. And I'm like, fuck a resume. <laughs> I don't got any jobs. <laughs> uh, and she was like, well, try again later. And I'm like, okay. And then like two weeks later, I, I messaged her again. And I'm like, I got my demo reel. I made it in my closet, but I didn't yeah. tell her that. I was like, yeah. I got, the, the I got yeah, a, put top, a professional industry lead <laughs> to help me with my demo reel. Yeah. I was like, listen. My name is Alex Lee. I'm a young voice actor of Asian descent. I can speak multiple languages. A total lie. <laughs> I can speak two. I was like, well, that, that you, isn't a lie. That's you, all like- You need me. I'm an asset. You need me now. Yeah. I'm so young, full of energy. I got the clean, great, high-pitched voice that you need in anime and video games. Here's my demo reel. By the way, um, yeah, I worked. I worked, <laughs> I worked a lot. And then she basically, you know, she was a lot smarter than I was at that age. Yeah. <laughs> so she looked at the email and she kind of rolled her eyes and she was like, yeah, you know what? Fine. I'll give you a shot. Um, yeah. We're going to interview you. And if you can pass the interview, then we'll give you some auditions to do. Sure. And I'm like, right. fuck, yes. Yes, I'm Hell in yeah. there, baby. And the, like nothing was guaranteed. Like, yeah, yeah. Nothing. But this if, was if you're confident, a start. If you're confident yeah. in your ability yeah. to that point. And this yeah. was just yeah. her being nice to some guy. Wait, to, so like, what did you put on your resume? I basically just put like, I was like, sometimes I would put in projects that never existed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few of those and I'm like, education from this guy. <laughs> and yes, I have a mentor. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, and a mentor. And the, the issue is that this is, you know, this is just somebody being nice. Mm, yeah. Right. When, when a young, a very young person tries to get into the industry, the obviously, you know, the thing you want to do, you don't want to shoot their dreams down. You don't want to like, Mm -hmm. fucking be rude to them sure yeah i mean if you're a good person you don't want to i was gonna say i'd love to yeah yeah i'm sure there's plenty of like execs yeah, 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 ask yeah, no. they need to reject but but yeah. she but she was very sweet and she wanted to like kind of give me some hope obviously the answer was always going to be like look you're not cut out for it yet but try again later i mm. love your enthusiasm mm. yeah that was always going to be the answer but I took that like half maybe, mm. and I was like, I'm in baby, I'm already in. <laughs> that, so, I didn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> so then what I did next was that I went to my parents and I said, I got a job in California. I'm a big, I'm a big boy now. So at the time I was doing community college yeah, and yeah. Um, I was so into this voice acting thing. I, I didn't have any time for classes. Sure. Yeah. So I was taking the money that I earned from my part-time job and I also got a scholarship. Right. Um, and what I was doing was that I would buy one or two books and then take out the rest of the money for the semester. Right. Yeah. So I was using that money. I basically cashed out my, my scholarship funds 
and I bought myself a car with it. Uh -huh. And then I dropped out the very next day <laughs> out of college. And at the time I was using my, um, my money from, cause again, I didn't have time to do yeah. school. Mm. And the only reason I could keep the scholarship is if I kept getting good grades. Sure. Yeah. So I had this girl who I was paying $500 a semester for, and she was doing all of my classes. <laughs> And so that's how I kept the scholarship going, and I kept pulling more and more money. Bro was hustling. So, oh my so the God. trick to being a voice actor is fraud. No, 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 no. No, that is no, not. No, no, it's, it's no. called a. It's called it's a. Called, it's called a grind set. You call it a grind set. It's called, it's called a grind set. It's, 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 it's strategy, right? It's strategy. Bro was playing the game, man. The, fun, the funniest thing is that you, even if you cheat in college, you can't mm -hmm. pass the final exam. Yeah. And well. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I was very lucky that I somehow in this in this class I remember one class was US history. Yeah. I ended up in this class with like two friends that I met in middle school mm. and they were like these two blonde girls who were valedictorian and salutatorian and right. they were like very smart. And I was like, "Oh, hey guys." And they're like, "Oh, I remember you." And then, and so we all sat together and uh I was like, "You know, if I can do you guys a favor, would you help me cheat on the final exam? And they were like, sure. <laughs> and so one of them asked me to drive them to, it was like the Pokemon launch day because she didn't have a car. Right, right. Um, and I was using my mom's car at the time. Yeah. So I would drive her to GameStop to pick up Pokemon. And yeah. then she's like, okay, you got it. And then I forgot what the other one was, but she, I think she was just nice to me. So she was like, sure, right. you can cheat. And so like final <laughs> final day of the exam, I had them, um, I, I called in sick and they, they did the multiple choice section because right, right, there's right. multiple choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like three essays that you have to do. So I, I had their answers on the phone and then I like, I wrote it down on a very tiny piece of notebook paper that was this small yeah. and I wore a watch and I slipped it underneath my watch. That is literally some Kira shit. <laughs> <laughs> I went into the exam. I was the only late student and I was like, I'm so sorry. I was feeling really sick. And he's like, all right. Go ahead. I went in there, pulled out the thing, filled out the multiple choice, and <laughs> came the essay questions. And this was U.S. history, so it was like questions that I had no idea what the fuck to sure. say. Yeah. And I was like, how did the invention of this machine help with, you know, the labor force? Or like, yeah. how did this impact the economy? And I was like, fuck. And so I, I just pulled bullshit after bullshit from my brain. I'm like summoning my bullshit powers and i'm like what can i say to appeal to this guy's emotions and i was like maybe maybe if i write and then i it came to me and i was like i'm an immigrant i've always been an immigrant <laughs> so on, on on the answers i was like as an immigrant my personal experience with the collapsing economy of the united states at that time is that you know as immigrants do they struggle a lot when they come to america oh, with you're jobs lucky you and didn't all have that a stuff. racist dude yeah, yeah. yeah. i was, I was <laughs> very lucky. lucky yeah so i was saying shit like oh the invention of this machine probably took jobs from a lot of people but not only that the immigrant population was also affected because yeah. we rely on physical labor <laughs> and labor that requires us to not speak and communicate and this and that and then i was like I hope this is good. <laughs> and so I turned in my test and the next day we all came to class and the professor was like, there was only one person who got a hundred percent. Ain't no way. No fucking way. He gave me back my paper and I could not believe it. <laughs> no and, fucking and, way. And the two girls sitting next to me, That's they were, no way. That's they were, no way. they were That's just no like, way, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I hate you. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Don't hate the player. If you, were, the if you were in my class, I would have absolutely hated you. Yeah. I think so too. I think so too. But without them, without all of those white women who helped me in college <laughs> and high school, I would not be here today. Damn. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I like, so, like I just can't believe you were doing like some liar game shit. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, when, crazy. When you, from what, from my experience, is that I was basically growing up alone. I yeah. didn't really have a supporting like father figure, you know, mother mm. figure that I really considered somebody mm. who always had my back. Yeah. And when you're in situations like that, and you're also a loner who don't have a lot of friends, you just kind of have to use your resources. Yeah, right, right. I mean, with certain industries like that, if you're not really, if you're not like born in the area where that industry is, yeah. or you just happen to live there, you're kind of automatically like really handicapped in terms exactly. of like yeah. what you can you just achieve. You have to do whatever it takes yeah, yeah. to yeah. to succeed and win. For sure. And and that's kind of like a side tangent to, to what happened next was that oh, I- that Yeah, was yeah, a so that was a long time side tangent. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, 
took all the money out of my my tuition and uh, my not tuition my scholarship, scholarship, scholarship. Fund. yeah uh, i used the rest of that money with the money that i had earned from my part-time job and i yeah. bought myself a car mm. yeah uh so now i don't have to drive my mom's car anymore and now that i have my car i and now that i have this maybe yes for my agent mm. i went to my parents and i said tomorrow i'm leaving <laughs> And so, well, I mean, you, they weren't really there for like five years. <laughs> yeah. like it's pretty yeah. fair. Yeah. They, they were like, you are fucking stupid. Right. You are insane. You will fail. You, you are destined to fail. And I'm like, and that's Christ. why I'm leaving. <laughs> and so within one week, I had packed up all of my stuff. Right. I had gone to California. I flew there. I bought myself a ticket. I flew there and I was looking at um, apartments and I found one that was like, oh, this is nice. Um, the last favor I ever asked for my parents was that I know you guys don't believe in me. I know you don't trust me. Mm. I know you think I'm going to fail, but please help me co-sign this apartment, <laughs> this apartment right. because this is the one thing I can't bullshit. Oh by. shit. Yeah. And okay. they were like, fine. And the, the thing that they took pleasure from was like being right. So they're like, we're going to sign you this apartment. You're going to come like crawling back and crying. Mm, right, so like, right, we'll right. do this. We'll, Aaron, we'll entertain you. Yeah. 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 So I'm like, please, this is the only thing I ask. And, that was their final gift to me is that they co-signed my apartment mm. and so i packed up all my belongings and then i just drove to los angeles she's from yeah, florida from florida Jesus. it was a it was a whole week long trip <laughs> and then once i got there i was like let me check my bank account Shit! <laughs> <laughs> i only got enough rent for one and a half months one and a half months one, to make this work one and a or half else? To make this work <laughs> with this maybe <laughs> yes from the agent. Uh, so first thing I did when I got back to Los Angeles was that yeah. I contacted the agency. I'm like, guys, interview, I'm here. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm a, I'm a resident now. Because yeah. before they were like, you're far away. We can't really make it work. And I'm like, yeah. well, yeah. you gave me a maybe yes and I'm here now and I'm ready to work. And yeah. they're like, okay, um, we'll set you up with an interview tomorrow. And then tomorrow came and nothing. And then the next day came and nothing. So I responded back and I'm like, hey guys, uh, interview? And they're like, sorry, we're in the process of hiring some new um, interns and this and that. Uh, maybe next week? And I'm like, okay, I'll see you guys next week. Next week comes, no response. <sighs> And I'm watching well, like, my- like nearly a month in now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was shitting myself. Yeah. I was like, I was shitting myself too. Yeah. And I was like, there's nothing. I, I haven't seen anything. I was checking my email. I bought this little like, email add-on that lets you know when somebody reads your email because right, I was right, that right. excessive. Yeah. And then <laughs> still I, I, nothing. I have a thing that blocks that. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. So you're <laughs> the anti <laughs> <laughs> I just told people knowing I've opened an email. It's true. It's not a good thing. I don't do that yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's it's yeah, kind of yeah. creepy. I didn't even know that was a thing that you could do because yeah. you could put like a pixel in an email <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is like yeah. a white pixel. And it, it basically is like a tracker that says when someone's opened it. Oh yeah. my God. So you should, yeah. you should install something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I was, I was so obsessed that I was like, this has to work, please. <laughs> the and immovable object yeah. nothing, versus the unstoppable force. Nothing for the next two weeks. Right. Okay. And I was like, I can't wait any longer. So I called her and she didn't pick up. And then I emailed her and she didn't respond. Yeah, this is how you normally get a no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And so I emailed her like one more time and I'm like, hey, um. I just really need a response. I'm sorry to reach you out of the blue again, but it's been a couple of weeks and I just I, I just need something. Like a, a date in the future would be nice. You yeah. Know? And she came back to me and she was like, hi there. Um, I am so sorry about that. It's been a very busy, you know, start of the year for us. We have a lot of things that we need to do, which is a very professional response mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. basically being no. And she was like, there's not much else we don't really have a spot for a new mm -hmm. talent right now. Right. And we don't really have space for someone like you. And I'm like, oh. this is like, this is where I would die. This is where I would right. like break right. down and cry. But as I was about to, I was like, one more, one more email. I'm oh. not out of this yet. <laughs> I'm not out of this yet. I still got one more in me. <laughs> so, I, I don't hear no bell yet. Yeah. I don't hear no bell. I sent her one more and I was like, okay, I'm going to be completely honest. I have no money left. Yeah. I have money left for one more month of rent. Yeah. yeah. I have abandoned everything. I know I know you think I'm young and you, you know, I'm very reckless. It's true. Mm. Yeah. But let me let me level with you. I have nothing left. Mm. After yeah. this, if there is nothing for me, I'm going to die on the streets. Yeah. Because I'm not going to do anything else. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm not falling back. It's either this or I die. Right. And I'm sorry to put that pressure on you, but this is all I have left. Right, right. So I basically gave her the ultimatum. I'm like, 
give this kid a chance or be responsible for this kid dying on the streets, which is <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> and any reasonable person would look at that and be like, fuck you. Yeah. Who do you yeah. think you are? Right. Yeah. But I think she just felt nice enough that day where she was like, fine, you know what? We're going to send you one audition just to test you out. Mm. Yeah. We're not even sure if we're going to send it. We're just going to send it to you. Do your best. We're going to listen to it and then give your thoughts and opinions on it. So I sent her, you know, she sends me the audition. Mm. I spend like 16 hours on it trying mm -hmm. to get it exactly right. Mm -hmm. And then I sent it back to her. And, you know, I say all this nice bullshit. I'm like, thank you so much for the opportunity. I, yeah. I really appreciate it. I sent it to her and I wait for like five days and there's nothing. And I was starting to think maybe it's over. Yeah. Maybe this is it. Maybe it's the end. And then the next day um, I get an email back that says you booked the role. Holy fuck. And so my first ever audition in Los Angeles. You can make a fucking movie about your life. My yeah. first ever audition. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I booked it and I was, I, I couldn't believe it. Did you cry? Yeah. I was, I didn't cry. I screamed. I was like, <laughs> yeah. yes, fuck yes. Yeah, hell yeah. And I, I just couldn't believe it. It was, um, it was for an anime feature with all of my childhood heroes. It yeah, was yeah, Yuri yeah. Lowenthal. Yeah. Josh Keaton, Roger Wait, Craig What was Smith. your first role? I'm not going to get into it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but if you look up these names, you might find it. Yeah, Tom yeah, yeah. Kenny, uh, Bo Billingsley, all these okay. people, Kerry Walgren, all in one movie. Yeah, right. And I was like, this is a dream come true. How did yeah. I do this? Um, and it was for a villain role. Mm -hmm. And so I came in for it and, you know, I had never done anime before. Yeah. So I came in oh, and the director- the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The director- she was like, have you ever done anime before? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I have. Yeah, totally. I so like, you, you, if anyone ever asks you, have you ever done this before? You say, yeah. 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 It's always what you do in this the entertainment industry. And yeah. so, and so I, you know, I did it. I sucked ass, but I was so fortunate that they called me back to finish the rest of the, the role. Yeah. And right. then I did it. It was terrible, but I did it. And that is, that is how my career began. Was that how you learned ADR as well? Yes, that the is the entire process. That was, was my entire okay. learning experience. So what, what was that like? Where they like you, you're in the booth and you're like, okay, you've done anime before. You know how the deal goes. Uh, just, <laughs> what was that well, first line like? Yeah, I mean, it, sorry, go on. It was, <laughs> it was like my heart was racing so fast. Uh, yeah, the beeps went the by beeps. so quickly. I yeah. didn't catch them the first time. I was like, I'm sorry, one more time. <laughs> and then I did it and it was like, sounding like Ash. He's like, you're a little stiff, loosen up. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, and then we kept going and we we barely got through like the chunk of lines that we mm. needed to get to. And then we yeah. got to a scene where I needed to laugh. And I was so nervous. I was like, <laughs> oh, it's hard to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And it was so bad that she was like, after the session, she pulled me out. She was like, you're going to go home and you're going to, study this for a little bit oh, right no. and i'm like yes absolutely i'll get it next time yeah and so yeah. for the next like week i just like every waking moment Practice i was laughing. forcing myself to laugh every single day and then i came back and i was able to do like a half decent job uh. and then thank god they were like all right you're good enough to so that we can keep you on the project yeah yeah, yeah. yeah yeah and so i i finished that project and that was my first ever gig in Los yeah. Angeles. Damn, yeah, yeah. My, my first time doing it, I was the exact same. I told them I knew how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. No. The one thing is, is that, you know, we live in a time where information is online. Yeah. So there's tons of- Behind the scenes videos. Behind the scenes videos and people explaining exactly what ADR is. So you know yeah. what's gonna happen. Mm. So all you have to do is match the beep, which is is tough. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it's different it's when, well. when, you, when you watch it versus when yeah, you absolutely. actually do yeah. it. Yeah. When you actually do it, it it's so much harder to- the, the, yeah. the, you're like, wait, do I wait like a half second after the beep? Or yeah, is it like, yeah. On the beep, on the, just make sure. And so when I, when I, when I, same thing was me, when the, when the beep started, I was like, oh, I wasn't supposed to wait like another beep? Like, I, <laughs> I would just make shit up. Cause I was like, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it wasn't for anime, it was for uh, some other stuff. So uh, yeah, it was a lot easier. The anime mm. stuff, what I did was a lot harder. But yeah. that was also cause the footage was like 10 P. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that happened back then. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty common. It was like 10 P and there was a big X on it. And oh, I was like, that's I, uh, probably a copyright mark. Or something yeah, yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. great. So I, I, I was like, I can't see. I, I told them, I was like, I swear, I just can't see the lips. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I don't know. This is not helpful. I, I was, I told them, I'll just say it, and then you tell me if it works. Yeah, because I'm very thankful I had you to help me out through that's my right. first yeah, ADR yeah. session. I did too. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That yeah. was a really fun day. No, you, you. That, that, it. that was a fun day. Hopefully, because did, like did he lie his way in too. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was straight up. I was like, guys. 
I have never done this before. He, he was too honest. Yeah. You know, if I, I was honest. If the cameras weren't on, I would have been like, get out of here. No, yeah. I'm kidding. No, no, no. God, you were, stop lying. Yeah, 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 God, yeah. You should have said, like, ever heard of Ava Bridge? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I remember the day, right, where we, where we, you know, got the email where they were like, oh, do you want to voice some characters? For, in in Mashal. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. Mashal. And I was like, cool. So I. Like I am not lying when I was like I was told nothing about what I was going to be doing. I don't even. I didn't. I think I found out I was voicing Mashal on the day yeah, when I got well, to the studio. That's usually common with the anime dubbing process. Yeah. Is that you don't get the script until the day of. Mm, yeah. So right. if if you're like nowadays, there's a lot of things where they do simul dub because back yeah. then you could be like, oh, this anime, and then you look it up and then you yeah. watch the episode. But now yeah. it's like you really don't know until yeah. you get in there. Exactly. Unless you read the source material. Mm, exactly. So I, I turned up on the day. And I was, I was like, oh, this will be like a fun little YouTube video. I'll be voicing some like background characters. Turn up and they were like, number one, you're voicing Mashal. And I'm like, all right, that's a Shonen Jump property. That's pretty, that's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty big, but it's okay. I'll probably, I'm just gonna do some like wild like background voices. And they were and like, like, you're Rhodes Emus. Yeah. The and you're like, just magma sorcerer. <laughs> and they were like, wait, uh, you got a named role and uh, you're gonna die. And I'm like, uh, I'm, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, are you okay? And then they br they bring me into like the studio and they're like, all right, ready to get, ready to get started? And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> haven't seen the script, don't even know what the character See, looks like. Up. You, you haven't told five lies yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. At this point, you should be knee deep in lies. Yeah. Yeah. So, you should have yeah. been telling them about the 401k. You, yeah. Yeah. you should have walked in and said, Marshall. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> Never heard of it. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Um, Sounds below my pay grade to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I remember the beep thing because I was like, all right, I, uh, I, seen, I seen behind the scenes. I know what the beep things uh. is. Uh, and then the first time I heard the beeps, I think I completely missed it. Cause oh, I was yeah, like- you always do. Yeah, yeah. yeah you I always do. Like, always happens to all of us. Yeah. Like yeah. the first time we do it. So yeah. I was like, was I was was that what I was meant to go? Oh, okay, okay. I, I think the the key factor to that day was that we had to, or I wanted to make sure that you were comfortable. Yeah. Because something that I wish I had was like a supporting or encouraging mm -hmm. voice when I first yeah. started working. I mean, yeah. You, you were supposed to be the pro. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's it's like in a professional environment. Yeah. yeah. It's like they just look at you through the glass, oh, yeah. and yeah, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. say anything. Yeah. Most of the time, they keep themselves mute. So you're just there, like. Bleh! <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. I, 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 I hate it's that. It's always a side eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, you're waiting and you're yeah. like- You're looking at them and they're not saying anything and you see them do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. <laughs> yeah, so it's-, yeah. it's No, I, cause, cause like, I, th I think it was that, like that recording session that I got the inkling that, okay, a lot of, your skills, which is like super, super fucking impressive. Uh, a lot of it was self-taught, uh, which is like, I think you told me the, your origin story afterwards, uh, which made a lot of sense. Cause I remember, I think there was like one line where you were like giving me advice about, you know, very, very great advice. I could not have done that. I could not have done, not have done this without Alex and the other directors. But I remember there was this one, I can't remember the exact line, but uh, you were like, okay. I think it was when I was voicing the owls and it was just like, make a bunch of these noises. And you were like, just make the noises. Don't worry too much about syncing it up. You know, they're gonna do that. Yeah. And then the director was like, um, actually, uh, please <laughs> don't, don't do worry that. About <laughs> please know, worry about like, that. <laughs> usually for me, I walk in and I'm like, I'm just gonna say a bunch of shit. I'll leave it to you guys. But this time I was like, Garn, listen to me, buddy. You don't gotta worry about any of that stuff. And then they go on the fucking mic, they're like, no, he ignore he does. Everything yeah. he says. <laughs> ignore everything I'm he like, says. He's lying <laughs> again. I was like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, because obviously, if you if you're a second late to say it, but you, you know, you, they can shift it. But obviously, yeah, you yeah. don't want to make that job harder. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So the more you have to rely on them doing that, the more gonna be like, fuck this fucking dog, <laughs> yeah. guy, bro. He keeps fucking making us fucking clip things and yeah. chip shit out. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, it's really, really insane. I also think that we should preface, please don't annoy a casting person. No, 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 no. That okay. is actually, I think the worst single well, advice Everything ever. that Alex has said. Somehow that worked, but yeah. I feel like 99% of the time that would never work. It would, yeah. it would never work. It would yeah. never work if I did it a second off, a yeah. minute 100%. off. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a once in like a lifetime opportunity. That's crazy. That I yeah. Cause you know, the thing that people talk about acting or any any skill or any like even being yeah. you know content creators and mm. stuff like that yeah. it's always like oh what do you need to succeed you need drive you need determination you need 
passion, all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> technical, technical skills. You got to have sure. a good mind and an intellectual sure, mind on these sure. sort of matters. But one thing that you also need is luck. Yeah, and that yeah. is, yeah. Like, that is a factor that is out of your control all Absolutely. the time. Your, your entire story is just like five different stars yeah. aligning into like well, the it's, perfect it's place. A thing, it's a thing where it's like, not only do you need luck, you need the ability to act on that luck. Yeah. yeah. When you yeah. see Absolutely. an opening, course, you have yeah, to go yeah. for it. Yeah. Totally. I mean, it's like, how can somebody be a poker pro? Right? Yeah, 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 it's yeah, all yeah. about uh, taking advantage luck. of the yeah, opportunity, using, yeah. using, using that luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Using yeah. every kind of thing you can to give yourself an edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and going and uh, drive it across the country to make it work. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I so mean, it was, like, it was like things were, you know, it could have played out very differently. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. But I knew that if you got the chance, you could make it work. Yeah. What I w what I was aiming for is like. I knew I could do this. Yeah, you know, yeah, I was yeah. like, you have to do that though. You I have to like, believe you can do I it. I know deep down that I can do this. Yeah. I just need the opportunity. Yeah. And I would do whatever it takes yeah. to get that opportunity yeah. because I can justify it once I once I can prove myself. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. if I if I was, you know, I don't I'd like to think that I was arrogant and I was too full <laughs> of myself. Yeah. But it was just enough to get me across the yeah. line. Yeah. yeah. Because totally. if I was too arrogant and I couldn't prove myself. I would have lost everything they within an instant. Yeah. And yeah. if I wasn't arrogant enough, I would have never been brave enough to push my luck mm. that far. Yeah. Mm. So it was just like the right amount. Yeah, you of gotta have a little, yeah. I mean like same, when I started doing voiceover professionally in the UK, I, they asked me if I lived in London. I didn't, I just said, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know what that, what that would lead to, but that ended up getting me more work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Okay. If I, ha if I just said no, I would have never have gotten these, exactly. these yeah. works. Yeah. And it was like, okay, I'll just, I mean, the UK is obviously a lot smaller than America. So, it, yeah. you know, I, I could easily cross the whole country uh, in a day. Mm. And so I did. I yeah. was just like, all right, I'll fucking do it. I, I was like, I was making no money because the cost of traveling and staying there. Sometimes was, you have to to justify that as well. Yeah. You know? I was like, yeah, I think it makes sense. And then I ended up doing Black Butler stuff online. So then it was, yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm going to be professional at content creation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. hey, you never I know mean, where it it's takes just, you. It's the same as a content creator too. Dude, I yeah. mean, that, all that, the opportunities yeah. that you get and all the opportunities you take, mm. it sometimes it appears in front of you yeah. as a yeah. glimmer. Yeah. 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 Instance. And, and that even having any kind of a professional experience, I think is invaluable. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially when you're trying to do anything entertainment. I think having like to be responsible and, and answer to people and know the kind of, the, the do's and don'ts that goes a long way with just how you do everything. I think, I think, I think yeah. a big thing yeah. is also the ability to, you know, um, be okay with failing, you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. to make a complete ass of yourself. Yeah, totally. Because mm -hmm. like that part, how I got my start was a, was a big kick for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that doesn't mean it was all smooth sailing from there. Mm. Yeah. I got my fucking ass whooped for the next like five years. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, there were so many moments where I humiliated myself, where yeah. I embarrassed myself. And that's how I learned to reel it back in. That's mm, how I yeah. learned where I am on the skill level, what I need to improve on. Because if I don't admit to my own faults, yeah. Yeah. I don't admit that I suck, mm. I can't improve. Yeah, you Literally my yourself. first job, they told me that, you know, in a nice way that I was ass. And yeah. I was like, <laughs> you know, I can't just- I mean, it's impressive that you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I can't just go back in and be like, I'm not ass. <laughs> yeah. Check this out. You just no. And then just be <laughs> ass again. I mean, I mean the, sad, the sad reality is that everyone always wants to know how to make it. Yeah. yeah. What they don't tell you is how to how to keep doing how it. How to keep yeah. doing it is yeah, the most the important part. part. Right. Because like so many gig, right? so many actors and voice actors, they get one gig and then that's it. I'm in. They're yeah. like, I'm in. Yeah. And then they never do anything again. No. Or they yeah. don't they can never live up to that hype or that mm. yeah. same with YouTube too, right? Everyone wants to know how to get how to blow up. No one wants to know how to maintain stick maintain, yeah. maintain yeah. that for a long enough time. It's hard. I yeah. mean it requires, I think, loving what you do and like really yeah. caring. And obviously, I mean it shows. How did we end up meeting? You met you met me around the time that rent a girlfriend came out yes because uh i think you oh yeah just, you voiced kazia and rent a girlfriend you just done you'd been That's, i know I, I see the look <laughs> you had done uh, banger roll you, by the way yeah, yeah. You, you, you know you, that obviously it, it resulted in a lot of uh a lot of conversation about about you as an actor and yeah yeah zenitsu was yeah. was kind of how i got my start yeah right yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I basically yeah. i basically owe everything to to anaplex thank you anaplex gods yes <laughs> and I, and I saw you doing a bunch of memes like po shit posts. Yeah. I, with it, which I don't know if you were supposed to be doing. I was not supposed to. I got, <laughs> so I when was I was, like, was, when I was talking about failures, that's one of my failures. I got <laughs> reprimanded so many times. I was going to yeah. say, because I was like, yeah. man, these, these people are normally pretty fucking strict about this stuff. And yeah. this guy's shit posting is an it's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And posting like in the booth, like free. Yeah, yeah. Oh I yeah, like, I saw yeah. that. I was yeah. like, is he supposed to I, be doing this? Technically I wasn't. I got copyright strikes for it. And then I fought back to get it. <laughs> and then I, like next day I showed up to the session. You didn't bite the hand that feeds you. 
yeah. he fucking chomped on the height. <laughs> and they were like giving me the side eye. They're like, hey, Alex, <laughs> so we saw your video. And I'm like, what video, man? <laughs> oh, no, I don't but, know what you're talking uh, about. But, um, yeah, Zenny 2 was, was. How many years ago was that? That how, was like a Zenny 2 was four and a half years ago. Damn. Yeah, Damn. I, okay. I did this video where I, because uh, <laughs> we were just following each other, and I did this video where I was like, I was going through my viewer dating applications. That's right. Yeah. And then at the end, I think I had a gag where you were like, you applied or something, and I was like, yeah, Sorry, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. And yeah. you were just in your car. I think you were like, I just finished recording. I'm gonna go to bed. Can I just get on? And you were like, oh, hi, uh, yeah, Connor, I want to reply. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude, this is perfect. <laughs> and I put it in. It was pretty funny. Yeah, it worked yeah. Out. yeah. And um, then uh, we met each other at AX. Was that's right. That's right. I remember the first time I met you guys at AX. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. That AX. It was. It was like a flash. It was. It went by really yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. It was. I. I because I remember, like, at AX, you met so many we, people. We didn't meet. We didn't properly meet either. Yeah. It was only me and we him. We were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause yeah. I remember we had just finished doing the. You guys Crash did your panel. yeah your your podcast, which was like a yeah. crazy, panel. and that was you it know. was nuts, guys. When I when I tell you <laughs> these guys were the the biggest shits in town, as in like <laughs> they, were, <laughs> they were they were top billing. Like people showed up, they showed very up. Kind of, it yeah. was like very it kind. was it was packed house. Very kind. And I was there because you were like, hey, come meet us backstage. Yeah, I was like, come. Meet. And then they 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 were trying to like all the AX people were freaking out because they were like worried about like all the the. People it was a were. crazy experience for me because I'm like I'm there because I'm like so yeah. I, I was so like this was like how many years ago was it like two two ish years ago? Yeah, yeah, AX twenty twenty two. So I was already pretty well off in my career. I had yeah, a lot of yeah, yeah. yeah yeah. But like. That means nothing to conventions usually. You know, they're like, you're an English first actor, cool. Well, and so I, mean, I was well, there. I mean, AS is especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. was there just like as some guy, yeah. basically. And so you were like, come meet me backstage. I'm like, sure, I would love to do that. Because we were getting shuffled around doing yeah. a bunch of different things. Yeah, that was so like that. I was that like, I, like, I want to hang out. I want to say hi. Yeah, I yeah. Didn't know I, how it I came it. backstage and they were like, moving you guys yeah, out of there. <laughs> yeah. So, so I was like, come, come, okay, with me, come hold on. I need you guys to understand this. These guys were moving like a fucking cell, dude. <laughs> you have you ever seen those diagrams of like cells with the walls around them? That they had, <laughs> they had. I, I came in here and I, I cause I wanted to I watch like, your panel. Home, yeah, yeah. I wanted to watch your panel. And yeah. then all of a sudden like, in the corner of my eye, 20 to 30 like people in suits, <laughs> black suits and tie just came in like, they were walking in a straight line yeah. just out of the blue. And I'm like, what are these dancers? <laughs> and then you guys got off your panel and then they started forming like a wall so around weird. you. And I was like, what is this? And so yeah. like, I was like, Connor, hey man. And, and I was like, like, coming, coming, coming. Hey, hey, yeah, Connor, yeah. hey. Yeah, and yeah. I was in a video so, with you. <laughs> so you guys started moving in your cell, yeah. moving yeah. away from me and, and you were like, Hey, dude, uh, sorry, I gotta go, they're, they're taking me. And, and you were like, you know what, come in, come yeah, in. I was like, come and and so I'm like, okay. And then so I came into the like, your fucking cell wall <laughs> and they, they blasted yeah, through the yeah, attendees yeah, at yeah, AX. Yeah. They were so aggressive. It was like people moving, they're like, out of the way! Yeah. <laughs> they just fucking thwacked people. Yeah, they were, they were, they were being was... so overprotected. I mean, I appreciate well, it. There, there yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. there was a reason. Uh, I, rem I remember, cause I was like, number one, the first time Trash Taste had gone to a like, the first year Trash Age had gone to a convention. And yeah. that was like two months after we had no security and someone just went on stage. On stage, stage I remember One that. of our panels. Yeah, and uh, that was like, that was like, Big around the convention mm. circuit, so AX saw that clip and they was they were like, "We are going to make sure that never ever happens yeah, ever." But it was so funny because it was the amount of security that we got was yeah. kind of gradual. Because like I think the first day there was maybe like one each for each of us, so it was like three mm -hmm. of them. Well, we and paid then, for our own security. Yeah, we paid yeah. for our own security. Not, not to say they weren't very useful, but mm. they. They weren't very useful. Yeah. <laughs> they were very expensive. Yeah. So. They, they immediately saw like, okay, that's not gonna be enough. And then I swear, every time I came out of the green room, it was like a security oh, spawn dude, was, point. So, I'm yeah. telling you, they, they were fucking spawning. cells. They, dude, they kept yeah. like they just dividing. Kept multiplying. Yeah. Just I, I, like, feel like, yeah. I feel like, hey, can I go to the toilet? And they'd be like, we got five guys. We need five guys here right now. We got five guys. <laughs> it, was, it was so <laughs> great. I was, I was oh, in your formation and there was like some guy with like a cutout of your face and like, I love you, c VA. And then the security was like, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was really funny for me because there's like one guy was like, Yo, is that Alex? I'm like, Hey, man. <laughs> you know me? We, had a good, we, had a good, yeah. we, we spoke. Yeah, I remember we had a nice conversation out back. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I, didn't, I haven't seen you since. So this yeah, is nice. To, that's right. Yeah, that's cause cause I, you didn't go AX last year. I, don't remember. I did. I did, I did for, for some panels and yeah. stuff like that. But we didn't get to meet up because yeah, we know, did. We didn't have the. Yeah. We didn't have security. No, we did. Have, did we have security last time? I don't know. Oh, if we, did. Yeah, <laughs> we 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 had like we had like one off security. Yeah, yeah, we realized it was a lot easier if we just had less security. 
Because yeah. when you try draw to draw less like, attention to you, yeah, yeah. when we yeah. have like twelve dudes screaming, "Get out of the way!" Everyone looks, and then obviously yeah. it's going to draw attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. You're like, how about we just have one dude who's like really like chill, chill and yeah. like whispers to the, "Hey, can we need to get there." Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that, so that that worked out. A lot I better I than felt guys. like I was starstruck. I was like, I'm hanging with the big leagues now, guy. <laughs> we are not the big leagues. No, we are not the big leagues. We convinced the convention that we were big shit. This is the fucking fraud table, guy. We convinced everyone. Watching right we now that we are. This is an anime podcast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this this is the elite, elite four. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Hokage <laughs> Hope Yeah. Oh my no, God. No, because like. Frauds. A lot of frauds. Yeah, because I remember. <laughs> a lot of fraud going on here. Yeah. I remember, because I remember with it was like that AX where I had like, I think, a single conversation with you. And I th- I'm, 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 I'm not going to say this. I'm going to say this now. I was like zoned out for most of that conversation. Oh, I remember. Yeah, just yeah. because I, I had. I mean, we were, we were so, worked to the bone. Yeah, yeah. we were. I knew to you the guys bone. were tired, so I was just like. Yeah. I'm gonna say hi, and then I'm gonna go over to the yeah. free food, and then I'll leave. Yeah, because <laughs> like I don't remember when I gave you my contact details, because like, because like Alex contacted me, being like, "Yo, you want to get dinner?" And like, I remember my first thought was like, "Who this? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, right, wait, right. who?" <laughs> and then, and then I was like, he's "You like, know," he's like, "This is make a break for me, y'all." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. I, was in, I, was in the I was, I was in the room, yeah, like, yeah. no lights, just yeah. one lamp, looking at my phone. I'm like. Text back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then yeah, was that when I was in? The... Was that when I was in Japan? In That's in Japan, right. yeah, yeah. Because I was, because I was like, ah, uh, I don't remember giving. For my first thought was, <laughs> would I give you my contact details? <laughs> <laughs> and my second thought was, ah, uh, actually, you know, I, you know, I, I, I also just had like per chance that was like my one week where I just had some spare time mm. because normally, where you know, when I get messaged, sometimes I have like a trash taste recording yeah. or we're way. Um, so mm-hmm. like you were like the one person where I was like, oh, I'm actually in the country and I was available. So uh, oh, we man. had dinner with you and your manager and that was when you floated the idea of like, <laughs> or your manager floated the idea was like, hey, wanna, and ever wanted to do some like background voices, like an owl or some shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, hell oh, yeah, right. that's, that sounds like fun. And I uh, didn't realize it was gonna be like anything more than just Absolutely. some background they, character. You know, it's kind of like, you don't really know your impact because you mm. guys have a huge impact on mm. the anime community that you don't realize. And and people see this, you know, not just the fans, but the professionals as well. Mm-hmm. So it was like, this is a good lineup of opportunities. Why not Why not take it? Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta ask. Uh, so you voice Kazuya in Rent a Girlfriend. That's true. How's it voicing? Uh, there was there was some interesting scenes. Number in one, I'm, cock. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, I'm, uh, how, I'm how, only... Okay, number one. What's what's your method of getting into uh, character? Well, how do you? I have I have two. I'm only gonna say two things about this role. Okay, okay. two things. Thing number one, at the time, Jujutsu Kaisen was coming out. Yeah, yeah. and it was. Um, it was done by the same recording studio, right? Okay. Um, and I didn't have a lot of opportunities. I wasn't in with the studio yet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I really wanted to shoot my shot for some of the big stuff they were doing. Mm-hmm. And so Rent a Girlfriend came around, and I was like, Oh, I don't want to do this because I had read the manga <laughs> before, and I was like, You know, it was a it was a guilty pleasure. Sure. You know, I'm like. I read it because it's a train wreck. Hey, mate. Hey, hey the first I, season's I, I, great. The first I am there. I'm there with you. I'm, I'm, I'm addicted, like, it's a, man. It's a guilty pleasure. It is. It and is. so I was like. I don't want to do this, but if I turn this opportunity down, yeah, then I'm gonna miss out on Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah. which I'm yeah. not in, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, if I, I'm gonna miss out on that, I'm gonna miss out on auditioning for other stuff. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. Uh, but I don't want to do this because I'm. I don't really like doing. It's not that. It, it's I. I don't really like doing projects with too much like sex stuff in it. Or yeah, it makes me like promiscuous. Stuff, it, yeah. it makes me yeah. a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. So I was like, I really don't want to do this. Why don't I just do a really bad audition and just fucking bomb it? And so you know, I'll still be on their list for you know auditions to send in the yeah. future. But they'll be like, you, they'll hear it and they'll be like, that's so bad, we don't want it. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm gonna do it one take. I'm gonna do it really bad, and I sent it in. And the next morning, they were like, I this did, sounds like a you're cop. perfect. <laughs> I read my email and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you get the leading <laughs> yeah. role. I'm like, what? <laughs> How? This guy sounds like a cop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get this one in. <laughs> and the 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 second thing I would say about that yeah. is that. I had to record the fucking Kazuya masturbation scene in front of like five people on the other <laughs> side of the glass. And like, they just would not change the script. So he was yeah. saying the same word over and over as he was jerking. And yeah. I was like, man, 
this is this is the the karma that's that's coming back to me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the only two things I will say is that um, Fair enough. yeah, I'm never doing masturbation seat in front of <laughs> people again, and uh, that's it. Or yeah. if it comes up again, then you'll be like, I've got some experience. In yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know how to do this shit. Are you, are, 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 you, are you up to date with the manga for Rent a Girlfriend? I am not, but my, you know, everybody tells me what happens in it. Because there, there are some very interesting scenes. That, I know. Uh, I, I'm aware. That, so we'll, if, if it gets like further seasons, we'll see. But, we'll see what happens with that. But that, those <laughs> are the only thing adaptation. <laughs> those are the only things I will say about it. the the third thing. Final thing I will say about it is that it's really fun for me because we yeah. don't have a script. Um, I go in there. And I'm just like, I'm just gonna mix things up. And they're you like- You don't have a script? Well, we have a script, but I usually it's like, it's, but it's not I don't like know. word for word. I, I just don't vibe with it personally. Right, yeah. And on a project like this, they didn't really care about that. Yeah. And so yeah. I was like, as long as I keep the intent of the original, yeah. I just yeah. come in here, I'm gonna mix it up. And they're like, okay, yeah. well, good. Yeah, I remember you tweeting uh, with uh, fourth end that you you insisted that they keep the, I have no enemies. Yeah. Yes. For, it was um, originally different? It was, what was the original line? So the original line was that, um, I think it was something along the lines of, because the way the flaps are yeah, yeah, broken yeah, yeah. up for Thorfinn in Vinland Saga, you know, uh, they do a lot of pauses in Japanese. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. like, I have no enemies at all. Yeah, and they yeah, they yeah. keep talking, you know? Yeah. And so I think the line was like, I have, or like, I have no enemies at all guys or something like that. <laughs> right. Guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and guys. And so, <laughs> do you remember what the Japanese was? I don't remember what it the was. Japanese it was. It was something like that. <laughs> yeah. But like, I, what are you taking? What are you on that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's more and more words in the second. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, I know fans love this line. I know yeah. they read yeah, the manga. Exactly. I know they would write if it they, was they, like they not quote, the same. Yeah. So I'm like, it has to be that word for word. Yeah. Right. Um, like, it has to be a, a thing that they can clip and they can you know take yeah, it out of context. Yeah. yeah. So. When you change lines for Rent a Girlfriend, it's easy because mm -hmm. the the dub team is more more lax on that. Yeah. For Vinland Saga, it was the dub for Netflix, so Netflix, you know, they're pretty strict on yeah. their scripts. Yeah, of course, of course. And most animes are really strict on their mm -hmm. scripts, mm -hmm. um, so they they insist that you don't change anything. I mean, that makes sense, right? It's like your job to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so generally. so actors usually they don't change anything different. Mm -hmm. But yeah. for me, I was like, I know this is important, and the director, she was also like. I'm pretty adamant about staying close to what the adapters wrote. Mm -hmm. And I, I respect the adapters and I respect their choices, mm -hmm. but I just, it just didn't feel right for me. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't, sometimes the way it's animated, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some but I didn't want it to be, I have no enemies at all. Yeah, It yeah. has to be, I have no it enemies. Just, it yeah. just don't hit the same. So, so then I, yeah. enunciated. I had it, no, I had it be broken up into two where it's now because I have, I have no, no enemies. I have no enemies. Oh. Well. So yeah. then I'm like, it's not the entire two flaps yeah, or yeah, two yeah. two segments. Now it's because I have yeah. no enemies. Small. I have no enemies can be yeah, by you itself. Need that term that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and you know, it's not blended together or anything like that. And I was yeah. like, this is the way to do it. And technically they were like, that might not work with the timing. And I'm like, I will make it work. Yeah. <laughs> Just work with me. I will make it work. Yeah. Yeah. And I was very fortunate that this team saw that I cared so much about mm, this property yeah. because I, I really acted my fucking ass off on the show. Yeah, it was yeah. fucking um, I love the source material and, and they saw how much I was doing for it. And so they mm. were like, okay, we'll give you the shot to, to make it right. Mm, and cool. so yeah. without- and you, you fucking did it right. Without, yeah. without their approval and without their help, I would not have been able to do it. Yeah, hell yeah. So, dude. yeah. So, I yeah. mean, I think that the line wouldn't have hit the same uh, without <laughs> that iconic line. I don't know enemies at all, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just wouldn't be the same. Yeah, it's, I mean- Well, it's, it's, it's a thing is that there are a lot of cool lines in Japanese, yeah. you know? And that's always going to be the case. Mm. A yeah. dub mm. isn't- rewriting the work of something that's mm -hmm. in sub. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. It's just an addition for the Western audience. Mm -hmm. And you can take that or you don't have to. Mm. Yeah. But it's there if you want it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, totally. And to have that option be there is is pretty important, at least in my opinion. Yeah, well, I think so too. Because like you're very in touch with the community and the, you know, especially the fandom as well. You know what people are going to gravitate towards you. Absolutely. Know, what lines are yeah. really, really important. I think the first time I started doing stuff like that was my very first big break, which was Demon mm -hmm. Slayer. Mm. And I was so fortunate with Demon Slayer as well, because there was another another case where like, it was all that or nothing. Mm. Yeah. So prior to that, you know, I had my first big anime break. I got a call back for Sword Art Online, the new uh, season. Like, right. Right. I think Alice Alice Yeah. Yeah. So I got a call back for that. And I was like, 
Second time, baby. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Roll the dice. So they, they, they got me in for the callback and yeah. I was like, I'm still not good. I still don't have the skills. Yeah. Right. So I started going into the callback and I like, I sucked, but I was confident in myself and I yeah. was like, this is it. Yeah. I'm going to get this. It was yeah. for the blonde character. Mm. And I was like, this is going to be me. Um, you and then, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I went home and I was like, great. Now, if I get this, my rent is going to be paid. Yeah. I'm going to have a job for the next like, dangerous, season. Because well, yeah. I had no other work at the time. Like, I got my big break, but that was over in like two weeks. Yeah. yeah. And now this was like the next no, big shot. another big break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I had been working small jobs in between mm -hmm. since then. But yeah. I was like, this is going to kickstart my anime career. This mm -hmm. is going to be it. And then uh, I was talking to a friend of mine and she's like, oh, we're going to a celebration dinner. And I'm like, oh, for what? Oh, and she's no. like, oh, my friend booked this role uh, for this character in Sword Art Online. And oh. like, I remember I was at Target fucking shopping for blankets and I dropped the blanket <laughs> and I was like, huh. Oh. And then I grabbed the blanket with me and then I drove home uh. and I, I think I broke down for like the oh. next week. Damn. I was just, that was Rejection my first. Yeah. I had been on such a high with uh, how I was yeah. rolling that when that happened, I was so crushed and I was like, mm bitter with the world and i you know i was young i was very naive i mean yeah, yeah. you, you so have I to was, experience that yeah i was yeah. that's a roar i was very much like fuck everything you know mm. uh i'm gonna shit post yeah 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 so i was like i have i blew it this is i lost my chance mm -hmm. yeah. and then the next thing that came was jojo part five mm -hmm. golden win mm -hmm. i was like i can pick myself up i can go one more mm -hmm. i can go one more this is it this is it and then I put all my chips in that bag too. And I was like, Jojo is how I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I, I practice my mudas. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to voice Jorno. I'm going to, I'm going to include mudas at the end of my audition to show them how good I am yeah. at the battle cries. <laughs> and I did it because they didn't ask for it. I'm like, I'm going to show them how passionate I am and yeah. how good I am. Nothing. Do you uh, think including the extra was a mistake there? Do you think I don't I don't regret it. Yeah, yeah you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it might have been a dumb thing to do, but I don't regret it. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I always want them to know what I what yeah, I you, yeah. right. you care. And so I was like, fuck. No you, no income coming in, nothing. I was I was flopping. I was floundering. Do you think some hard. directors sometimes want actors that don't care about the source material? I think it depends. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. the casting director will always make the best decision for the mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. And this is why Back then I was bitter, but now I'm not yeah, because yeah. I know I wasn't the right person for the role. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you know the people they got fucking killed it. Mm. Yeah, and I could have never done a good of a job as them. Yeah, yeah, because I just didn't have the experience at the time, mm. or I, I don't have the sound. Mm. So it, it's not up to me who is right for the character. Right, right, right. You know I can be as full of myself as I want, <laughs> but I will never have that that eye that or the the ear that they do. Of course, yeah. yeah. For mm. this type of stuff and. Um, you know, when you're young and you're arrogant, you can be like, they don't know what they're talking about. They're missing out. They're fucking stupid for yeah, doing that. Yeah, but true. that's not true. It's they know more than you do. Mm. Yeah. And that's how it is sometimes. Mm. But I was um, I was definitely, you know, very depressed. I cried like every fucking night. Yeah. Jojo, I mean, it's uh, it was it was rough. So when the Demon Slayer auditions came around, um, I was in a very low position. I was super depressed mm. and uh, I didn't hear about them mm. because sometimes what happens in anime auditions is that they have what's called a closed casting call right? where they right. only select few people get those auditions. Mm. And I hadn't proven myself enough at that point to be one of those few. <clears throat> um, so, you know, some people got it. Some people didn't. I was one of the people who didn't. Mm -hmm. And I didn't find out about it until because the auditions were sent out on Friday and they were due on Monday. And I found out on Monday because somebody let it slip and they were like, did you read for Demon Slayer? And mm. I was like, no, no, I didn't. Oh, no. I didn't read for Demon Tell Slayer. Me more. <laughs> Tell me more. And they were like, oh, oh I'm sorry, man. The deadline's today. It's gone. Mm. And I, I came home and I was like, I didn't get Sword Art. I didn't get JoJo. <laughs> and now Demon Slayer. <laughs> and now I didn't. I don't even have the opportunity uh, to read for Demon Slayer. Yeah. Mm. I was like, fuck. I'm really, really like torn down and yeah. I, I, yeah. Just, yeah. I can't keep doing this and it's a forbidden you know rule to to ask for mm. for something oh yeah absolutely yeah. not but yeah. i was like i just gotta do it so i i knew that it was already the deadline was already passed right but i emailed the casting director and i emailed her and i was like hey 
I know there's there's a show called Demon Slayer that's come out, and I would really love to read for it if yeah. you still have room to hear more people. Yeah. 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 And um, she didn't respond to me. So an hour later, I was like, I'll send it again. I'll send the exact same email again. I'm like, I've been through yeah, this yeah. before. I've been through this before. This is like a very, I can a send emails. Of, uh, very, very risky gambling. Yeah. Well, yeah. You see, it was. It sounds like crazy well, it's when when it's all isn't it? all together. Yeah, I know, but I know. this was like spread out throughout like a couple of months. So oh, this yeah. was like my first time doing it oh, yeah. with this specific mm -hmm. oh, person. Okay, right. Yeah. So I sent it to her, and then she got back to me, and she's like, "Hi, unfortunately, um, the auditions are closed, but." If you would really like to read for it, we only have about like 18 hours left for you to do this. Mm. It was something like that. Mm. A really short amount of time. Yeah. And like she was like, if you can do something, go ahead. And I was like, okay. All right. I'm in. I'm in. I got yeah. it. Um, main character, Tanjiro. Okay. Uh, cool. And so I spent eight hours doing Tanjiro. I was like, who do they want? I was going through actors on their list and yeah. like, they probably want this guy. So I'll do something that sounds like this guy. Yeah. Or should I try to sound like the Japanese voice actor? Mm -hmm. And so I was doing a lot of research. I spent eight hours doing the same fucking line over and over and over again until Jesus. I was like, that's the perfect pitch, the perfect cadence. Yeah. This is it. Who's next? This guy looks cool. Inosuke, he's like a ripped boar guy. Okay, yeah. four hours screaming at the mm -hmm. top of my lungs. Yeah. I blew my voice out, looked at the clock. Shit. I don't have any time left. I literally have one minute left. Yeah. Who's who's the loser next? Zenitsu, uh, scared wimp. Uh, my voice is blown out, but I only got one minute left. Yeah. And then I just, with all my heart, shouted as hard as I could yeah. for the one minute that I had left. And then I sent it in. And then the next day they got back to me. It was like two days later, actually. They got back to me and they were like, congratulations, you were in Demon Slayer. And I'm like, yes, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> but I did at the time I was like, that's weird. <laughs> but yes! I did it! And so i I celebrated and I was like, I finally did it. Uh, and that moment I was like, I could have, you know, without Demon Slayer, I would not be here today. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, got yeah. eyes on me. That's yeah, what totally. got people to talk about me and uh. to, to see me. And if I had just hesitated for a moment. I would have yeah. lost that last everything. Yeah. It was that last yeah, yeah. minute, man. That and last it was like minute. to think that I wasn't even in consideration or in the yeah, running yeah. in the first place. Mm. Yeah. And they took a huge chance on me because their cast was like, they had fucking Bryce Pappenbrook, Johnny Young Bosch. Mm. You yeah. know, they had Zach Abbey, all these big names who have uh. done anime for years. And I was somebody who had only done anime like once or twice mm -hmm. as like a background character or something like that. And so they took this huge huge risk on me and literally without that i would not again i would not be where i am now mm. so i i owe so much to demon slayer and over the years seeing how it's grown it's just like really yeah. surprised yeah. me as well yeah. although you voiced exactly. my, my least favorite <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's what i will say okay okay we are all Zenitsus here. No, yeah. Dude, no, 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 yeah. You are going to end. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know Joey will. Yeah, yeah. he loves shooting. Yeah. 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 Joey doesn't even need our demon to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't even be phased. Be like, <laughs> let me, let's be real. We're, <laughs> we're all running, man. We are all running. Don't even try to act brave, man. Why? Why is he gonna whine? <laughs> that's so true. Much. That's true. I think there's a there's a there's a layer of him that's like comedic you know his yeah. whininess yeah. but he's redeemed by his ability that he doesn't even know he has yeah. Yeah. but what I truly find relatable about Zenitsu is that he has such a sense of humanity to him that we don't really see mm. in the other characters he's mm, mm. so imperfect yeah. that it captures what it means to be human mm. Tanjiro is the you know he's the prodigal son he's mm. yeah. fucking awesome mm. he's kind he's brave he has everything that you would ever want mm, you know yeah. he's like you know lacking in the brain department yeah. but he's strong he's awesome yeah. but zenitsu there's something about him that's like so 
sad and real <laughs> that I just relate to a lot. You know, he, yeah. you know, he cares about being recognized. He cares about having friends. He cares about how his friends feel about him, mm. you know? Um, and at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, he will, despite, you know, him not wanting to do it, he will go there and do his best. That was probably the best argument for Zenny to have ever heard. Oh, it was a great if, argument. If you're like, who, who else could argue I'm not gonna the be good thing about Zenitsu yeah, than uh, Zenitsu right? himself? Heard, He's heard, lived the characters for I, years, I, man. I've, I've, heard so been, I've been peeing in the booth for far too long. <laughs> I've heard so many different people like defending Zenitsu, yeah. but that one was easily the best argument I've ever heard. Yeah. I was like, shit, he's kind of right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's there's like a sense of humanity that I, I relate to a lot of characters where I'm like, sure. I think that's what I like about this character, mm, you know, yeah. beyond their superpowers or anything. Any anytime I watch an anime, something that I that I connect with the most is always like how imperfect somebody is. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, now defend Kazuya. I'm, I'm I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I mean, he's pretty imperfect. If you think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one thing I got to ask you about is uh, so. We are, so from what I understand, this is already going to be revealed by the time this episode comes out. Mm. But uh, so we filmed a video together and normally when I'm sitting next to the boys, everyone's like, oh, Gant looks, you know, Gant looks pretty decent for his age. Gant, Gant looks all right. <laughs> so on your Google or IMDB or everything, it says you're 35. Now, a lot of people watching the video, they saw me looking at like standing next to you and they're like, I saw some comments going, what the fuck is wrong with God, man? Yo, Alex is older than him. What? Did he get the it wrong is. Asian genes now? <laughs> but uh, uh, everybody's catching yeah. up with God, bro. So for some reason on online, it says I'm 35 years old. <laughs> on your IMDB, it yeah, says yeah. you're yeah. born in 1988. 1988. That doesn't make sense because yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't even a, I wasn't even a thought in 1988. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wasn't even anything back yeah. then. Yeah. So, so how did that get wrong? I have no idea. I have no idea. You know what else it says online? It says I have two dogs. I have two cats, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like somebody is just on there just spreading spreading stuff about me. Yeah. But it's the it's the most crazy thing because I, I will always clarify it. Yeah. And people will always be like, no, Google says you're 25. <laughs> yeah. Shit yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I've been at conventions where I'm signing autographs for fans and they I, come up and they're like, how do you look so good for 35? <laughs> yeah. I, I think because there have been cases of uh, some people in the past who are old and they, for some reason, just cannot accept the fact that they are old. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, no, no, I'm like 29, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I think maybe that's why people, when they see it online, like, no, no, be, come on, just accept that you're old. Just accept <laughs> it. I'm like, yeah. ah, <laughs> you got me. I, I lied yeah, for I, too I long. it's more plausible to a lot of people that yeah. you would not be able to accept the fact that you're aging. That's true. The internet with That's all its true. vast okay. knowledge. Yeah. By the time this comes out, it will already be revealed, but I was born in 1999. Uh, so, right. so not- but About, about yeah. 10, 10 years. You're still a baby. <laughs> well, I, I, crazy so, plot twist, he, he reveals it and it's actually like the, 1970 or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I've always- You're the youngest here. I yeah, am. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. off. I'm, I'm yeah, the youngest in the room in a lot of recording booths. No. Yeah. And that is the reason why I- I, Shut up. <laughs> that's the reason why I've concealed it for so long is that- You didn't some, want to be like a kid. Well, yeah. something about the entertainment industry is that it's their ageism is very much a thing. Yeah, that's yeah of course. In any yeah. professional like entertainment- Especially thing, in Japan. Of course, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like if they know that you're younger than them, they're not gonna yeah. take you as serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when I first started my career and I was doing all this bullshitting, if they knew that it was a fucking like 18. Oh, so did you say this age? I didn't do, I didn't do oh, okay, this. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But <laughs> I don't think he didn't lie about yeah. it. <laughs> but if, okay, okay. if they, I, ne I just never like alluded to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because just correct it. If they, yeah. if they knew that this guy who was like, I can do this. Actually, I have a suggestion or maybe we should do it like this. If they knew that guy, if that guy was like 18 or 19 years old, mm, yeah, they would have been like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like that's, even, that's fair. That's even fair. when I was working on Demon Slayer, there was a lot of things where I wanted to be like, I, I actually can make the scene a lot better if you mm -hmm. let me do this and yep. this and this. And <laughs> I always had to be like, hey, let me uh, play that take back. Okay. There's something we can do here. If they saw that and they were like, you're 19, dude. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. So you, you, now you finally feel you're like, I've got enough stuff under my belt. I can correct this now. Yeah. I, I think so. I think, I think it was my a- My opinion is, you know- Oh, he's- well, I was, You are established. Yeah. Right? I yeah. mean, so I was, I was well waiting right until now. I was legally allowed to rent a car. Right. That's when I'm like, that's when you're a real adult. Cause then- right. Wait, what? 
all the brakes are off. Oh, in America, you have to be 25. You have to be 25. Yeah. Really? So I was like, you know, know that. 21. They took a handcuff off of me, and now I can rent a car. I, there's no more restrictions you, on me. UK, I'm a I full think it's adult. Twenty five to rent sports cars. I yeah. see. No, yeah. it's it's twenty five yeah. to rent a car. At least the, wow. where I was. It's the from, insurance yeah. that just goes like sky. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Until yeah, you yeah. hit uh, twenty five. No. So yeah. so I I feel like now that I'm yeah, yeah seventeen. 17 yeah. yeah. I see. Now now that I'm a proper adult, I'm like I guess I can reveal it. I'm yeah. hitting my quarter life crisis. Maybe mid life crisis. Fair enough. Mid life. Sorry? Midlife, midlife, Mid you, know, you never well, remember know. Remember his vision that he was going right, to die right. in his forties as a monk. Yeah. Mid midlife, maybe. <laughs> no, so you never know. Well, if you maybe if you have a British body, that might be true. Well, <laughs> I, I, I already passed my. Here, here's the, here's the other thing: is that the the stories I tell are very like luck oriented and very luck based. Mm. I mean, yeah. anyone who can't uh, admit that their success is luck is yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, just lying, yeah, just lying yeah. Yeah. in yeah. some but, ways. But the thing is that so. Because I, I I told you guys I grew up without any parental guidance or anything mm -hmm. like that. I never had like a father figure that I truly felt was yeah, like yeah. somebody there for me or a mother yeah. figure that mm -hmm. I truly felt was was there for me. Nobody ever taught me anything. I had to learn how to use chopsticks myself. Mm -hmm. I had to learn how to eat. I had mm -hmm. all that weird shit. You know, I had, I never knew about religion. They never taught me religion. Mm -hmm. So Probably a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I was even when I came to America and I had like a white stepfather. He yeah. never taught me about Christianity. He never taught me how to drive a car or anything mm. like that. Right. Um, I had to learn myself. And, and, you know, from what I gathered as like an edgy atheist teenager, at the time, I, I believe, I'm like, there's no God, this and that. And then more and more of my life started proving to me that maybe, maybe there's something. G-Man has my back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how I operate now is that I believe there is something there. Uh, mm -hmm. And it... It takes a lot of pleasure in in seeing what I get up to. That's right. That's Does like that make what, sense? Yeah, no, it yeah. makes sense. I think that's what like Goku is to Brazil. I think. I, I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the force, the force it's, that guides well, us the, all. The way I know it is that yeah. there's a lot of things that happen in my life where I'm like, "You're fucking with yeah. me." Yeah, yeah. Like when the day that I started moving to Los Angeles, I stopped by a Chinese restaurant and yeah. I like cracked open a fortune cookie, and it was like today you're embarking on a new journey. And I'm like, okay, you cheeky little bastard. Mm. <laughs> yes, I am. I think there's a, an interesting uh, study that said that it's more unlikely than, than uh, it's uh, almost impossible for you not to have something that is a one in a million chance for you to have to happen to you every day. Yeah. yeah. But like well, one in a million chance normally is boring. Yeah. It's like, oh, maybe, you know. Maybe you stepped on- uh, Maybe you stepped on something in the, yeah. in, a, in, a, in a, you know what I mean? Like the one out of a million chance yeah. is like yeah. really, and sometimes you yeah. can roll the dice and it works out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, go ahead. I, I, I totally believe in that, but uh, one in a million chance could mean fucking anything. Yeah, what, what, how yeah. many one in a million chances actually matter exactly. in your life? Exactly, you know? yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Well, Hopefully it's- a good one. I, it was like, you know, the fortune cookies, it, it sounds silly, but every time I opened one up, it told me what was gonna happen next. <laughs> <laughs> Just crack it up, it's like, you well, are gonna get the it demon was, slave roll. It, yeah. it was like, before the sword art thing hit me, uh -huh. I, I opened a fortune cookie and I was like, uh, it was something like hardships ahead, yeah. prepare for something. And yeah. I'm like, no, I'm gonna crack open yeah. another one. <laughs> and it was like nonsense in the other one. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I, if I don't acknowledge it and I throw it away, it's not gonna come true. Yeah. And then that happened. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, when I opened up another one, like before some of my big gigs, it was like patience, something is around the corner. Yeah. It's, it's that, the small stuff like that. But yeah. what, what really solidified my belief is what I now call a balance system. Mm, yeah. Which is anytime I successfully pull something off, something terrible happens to me. Okay. <laughs> something <laughs> without fail, without fail, something okay, okay. terrible happens to right. me. I think that's called karma. Yeah. Right. So well, it's like, is it, well, isn't karma more though that you it's, cause the bad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, well, this, yes, is, this well. is like, it's gotten to a level where at first, at the first time that happened to me, I was like, okay, coincidence maybe, but now I actively communicate with myself, with the air, anytime something happens. Mm -hmm. Like, so back last year, we had a Demon Slayer premiere mm -hmm. um, in, I think it was, uh, it was, it was in Los Angeles and yeah. I had convention in Vegas. Mm -hmm. So it was a, and I was trying to make my own suit mm -hmm. for the premiere. Cause right, I was wow. like, I want to be fancy. Yeah. So I was like, 
oh, this is a lot to take on. I have to finish making this suit. I got to like go back and forth. Mm. And I'm like, okay, so here's what I'll do. I'll fly from Vegas to Los Angeles, finish the suit. Next day, wake up, do the premiere, fly back to Vegas, finish the convention weekend. And that's a lot, mm -hmm. right? And I was like, I'll put on my lucky underwear and I'll <laughs> talk to the universe and I'll say, give me this weekend and you can have whatever Hold snacks. Up, you have lucky underwear? I do, I do. I have, oh, I have lucky today? underwear. I kind of am. Oh, 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 <laughs> so, so, so I'm like, give me this and then you can have what's next. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I somehow pull it off. And this is like a really hard task. And I pull it off. Oh. It went flawlessly. I had an amazing yeah. time. And I came back and I was like, all right, I'm ready. And then my, my uh, car died in the middle of the road. And I was like, ah, okay. And then I lose out on a job I was really hoping for. I'm like, all right. And then, and then I, I shit myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it proportional? Like, it is proportional okay, always. Okay. And then I, I got right. sick. And then it was like, okay, I get it. I, I understand. There was another time where I had an event that was really important to me. And I managed to pull that off. And then when I came back, I immediately had like a blood infection. And I was oh, like, fuck. God Jesus. damn, I don't think this one's worth it. Though. <laughs> but, but that's like that's like my relationship with it. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, it you know, it's a lot easier to... When bad stuff happens, it's a, it's a lot more comforting to think that like, hey, I'm getting something good out of this. Yeah, it's right? true. It's, it's like, true. Yeah. I think it's just a way of thinking, right? It's like I a, think a so, but it's like what comes first. It's like anytime yeah, I do yeah. something successful, yeah. I'm like, what, did you, what if you're like, I just, I'm going to burn something in my house, and then I'll be like, I get free. Yeah. Can, you know, can, I, I, can, I, can you preload it? Unfortunately, I can't preload yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. I think there was it, there was there was one time where it was like, oh, um, I would really love to have, you know, I have a recording session coming up mm -hmm. and I would really love to pull this off. It's in another state. And then I flew there and I did the session. I came back, I'm like, fuck, that went better than I thought. Mm. And then the next day my tire blew up on the road. You, and know, you don't have a good luck with cars. No, yeah. not really. Like, uh, yeah. Are so, you servicing the problem? Yeah, like, this is not a luck issue. I think it's a servicing issue. It might be that too. It might be that too. <laughs> time, time I, to call I, the I've, I've seen time, the cars know? in LA. They last are not year, up to MOT standards. Last in the year was my first time in Japan. Right. I came here with my friend from Anaplex. We went to a shrine. Yeah. Okay. And as okay. we were going to the shrine, she's like, oh my God, let's go pour luck. That's going to be so fun. Like pull our fortune. Yeah, from yeah. Yeah. It was in, You're like, oh, it was, in, it was in Asakusa. And I, I told her, I was like, I have the worst luck. It's going to be like, it's going to tell me that I'm going to die or something. And yeah. she's like, yeah. no, you're going to be fine. And so she goes up, she pulls her luck, and she's like, oh my God, good fortune, yay. Yeah. What is yeah. yours saying? I'm like, I don't know, I don't read Japanese. Can you read it for me? Yeah. She reads it and she's like, your fate is the worst fate <laughs> of all. Your diseases will not cure. Your fires will not stop burning. I, <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, no, I know it's bad, but that bad? <laughs> and then like, Immediately after I came back from my Japan trip, which was a business trip, which mm -hmm. was very, very successful mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Like an intense personal life tragedy happened to me. And I was like, no. Oh. So for you me, have pulled that damn thing. Yeah. I, I, it was like, it almost confirmed it for me mm. that anytime something goes well for me, something will always balance it out. Literally, you have, I wish I could feel the same. Yeah, you're I, literally I, suffering from success. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like when it's good, I'm like, all right, let's get another one. We yeah. Come on, let's go again. Come on, let's, let's get a, let's, let's get a streak so going like, here. It's like people are always like, oh, you have so much success. You must be like celebrating all the time. No, it's like this I do feels, something good this feels and then like I go almost home. like torturous. Yeah, yeah. you know, I feel a little like bit. This is, yeah. this is like a like paganism where they like well, whip themselves. Well, it's like- my sins, my sins. It's like to get, not to get too deep, but one thing is that it's, I don't think I felt like too much joy in the last couple of years. You know, right. no. it's it, it's a personal accomplishment for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's so fucking insane to see all the things I get up to totally. all the time. Yeah, and I'm I'm proud of the work, mm. but I haven't had any time to properly sit down. You got a hat. Spend it in. with people you love. What do you? Yeah. What do you? What do you? Okay. If we're if we're going deep, what do you want? What do you want? What's the next? What do you want? What's what do you want, next? Alex? What, what do I want? What's yeah, want yeah. Right I just I, I just want I just want to feel some some relaxation and levity and you know. Because Honestly. you told me, you told me your schedule because it's like you've it been is. traveling around a lot and yeah. going to that many conventions. Yeah, I probably would feel the same well, way as well. It's like conventions or events on weekends and mm. then full day of recordings. So like nine yeah. to five or six. Mm. Gotta, uh, gotta on play hard and work hard. Man. It's, yeah. it's gotta, true. And, and the thing about it is that I'm so grateful and fortunate for the jobs because I know the opportunities I get, not yeah. everybody gets. And mm. if I told this to any other voice actor, they would fucking kill me. Because yeah. yeah. they would, a lot of people would kill for the opportunities that I get. Mm. But I, I feel like 
I have to be grateful for it and I yeah. have to be always thankful. But at the same time, sometimes you just get worn down. Yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. you got to chillax, man, and wind down because the last thing you want to do is burn yourself out while you're and on the And that's the thing is yeah. that I feel like I've been burnt out for like three years now. Yeah. Ever since things yeah. started taking off for me. I don't, yeah, it I don't is. think yeah. I've ever had, like I worked so hard last year and then um, I was like, I'm going to take one week off for vacation. Mm -hmm. This is going to be my week where I rest. And then I got the most sick I ever got in that week. And I'm like, I get it. This is funny to you, but <laughs> please <laughs> just one. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it, yeah. It, it, yeah. I, I think that's something so that a lot of YouTubers struggle with, you know, balancing the work life balance. Cause you, cause you I can see, work yeah. as much as you a can. A lot of people, a lot of people like I saw, the they, burnout, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they hit optimal burnout this year and they had to step I mean, back. Tons of people started retiring. I mean, that's yeah, true. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I just, I, you know, you just got to hang out with your friends, got to make sure you have a social life, mm -hmm. got to make sure you yeah. do that stuff to, to make sure that balance. I, you know, I think I think our work is better for it that we get to hang yeah. out. And, yeah. and, and you know, I, I used to be able to say that, but I'm on such a strict schedule now mm -hmm. that yeah. like, yeah. With the way productions are being handled, yeah. everything needs to move really fast. Mm, yeah, and if I if I dip out, I'm gonna bring everybody else down. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Of course, so of I gotta course. keep proving yeah. to them yeah. that I can be there. I can put in the work, no yeah. matter how down or out that I am. Mm. I can still show up and give them everything that I've got. So yeah. it's it's a balance that I haven't found yet. And I'm, not, I'm not gonna we'll find that. it. We'll how much how much, how much how much travel would you do? Because like you you tell me that you told me like your convention schedule last time we hung out, and I was like, that is like triple the amount that I'm doing, and I. I'm yeah, burnt out of conventions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's for me. I think it's last year I checked and I did over sixty flights, <laughs> like individual flights, sixty flights. God damn. So that really kind of you know it it takes a lot out of you. And, and yeah. when you're at a convention, it's amazing to meet fans and interact with them. But mm. it's also you're talking to them for eight hours a day. Yeah. And it's I lot, yeah. personally on my own, I'm a very quiet person. I don't like to talk a lot, but yeah. in social situations like this, or when I'm at a show, or when I'm in the recording booth, I have to turn it on. Mm. Yeah. When you turn it on, you're actively wasting away at your own social energy. Yeah. Sure. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like a balance that sometimes you can't maintain. Mm. Right. Because yeah. if you're always performing, you're never gonna have time to recoup that mm. energy mm. and, and kind of get it back up. Uh, I think, you know, obviously the, the, the one thing that I think I would say is that, uh, if you if you you say that you know the production is really tight and that's obviously a good reason, but I think that there's always a worry that you might fall out of passion with it, right? That's and that's true. a scary thing because I feel yeah. like you don't know you've fallen out of it until it's you too late. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I I felt that brush me many yeah. times. Yeah, it's scary. It's a scary. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think I think the one thing that that has kept me going is always luckily in this line of work. Sometimes, yeah. like maybe once a year, or once every two years, yeah. something happens that flips your perspective and kind true, of refreshes you. Mm. And I was very Just lucky thankful. to have something like that, uh, like happened two times recently where mm. I'm like, I still love this and mm. I still like Hell to yeah, do this. Like that sounds intense. That yeah. sounds intense. Yeah. 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 I'm like, I go out for a nice meal and I'm like, I'm ready. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm back in. For I'm me, so for me, I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm so yeah. tired. <laughs> <laughs> and then something, something has to happen where I'm like, you know what, this is fun. And again, it's it's so easy to get jaded, but of course, yeah, at course, the end yeah. of the day, I can say all this. I can say I'm tired. I can say I'm burnt out. At the end of the day, I wouldn't give it up for anything. Mm. Yeah, because like I recognize the oh, the what I've been given. Yeah, and I recognize the abilities and the accessibility and the opportunities that I've been given. And it's again not something anybody just anybody gets to come yeah, by. Man. Yeah, I literally grew up in poverty, and to be where I am now, where I don't have to worry about rent and I can just live comfortably and just pursue my passions and turn projects down or do this and that. It's like, never would have thought, mm, you know? Yeah. yeah, I mean, being able to pick and choose is like the, the biggest it's, honor of all. Yeah. It's right? once you get there that you're you're kind of on a different level. At the same time, you are still human though. That's and true. You, you have, you know, we, we have all been given like a wonderful <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, opportunity. It's like a, a, a support group. Like, Alex, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. man, take a break. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> take care of yourself. We have all been given a wonderful <laughs> opportunity. And I, you know, I think in a sense, you know, it's normal in our position to feel guilt mm -hmm. for being like, I am not the most like humble I could be, or I'm, I'm not, I'm well, not like- the, Yeah, the, the, the issue is that what we all do, all of us do is yeah. so grand and it's so like, it's, you know, it's fucking insane is what yeah. it is. It's mm. like not an opportunity you get ever. And it's, it's a dream job. It's a dream yeah. job. And so it, it can feel 
you know, we can all feel guilty for being like, oh, I'm so tired or I'm burnt <laughs> out. Yeah. Because we know that other people struggle more and mm, yeah. we recognize that. Mm. But like you said, at the same time, we're also human and we're also allowed to, to feel sometimes yeah, when we're, yeah. we're kind of burned down. But yeah. obviously it's hard not to be like, I'm not, you know, I can do more. Everybody else is yeah. doing so much more. Everyone yeah. can always do more. Everyone yes. can always do Everyone, more, but... I can, I can go lift more. I can yeah. Yeah. exercise more, I, I, but I don't. And, 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 and instead I play games. I, I think hours. being human is accepting that part of yourself. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you do got to order some food and just play video games <laughs> yeah. and not do the thing yeah, you should have. There's always the things you should have done, but you know. So have you even had a chance to like play or watch the projects that you're in considering? <laughs> No. <laughs> How long did Persona take? Yeah. Um, that was recorded a while back. Okay. Uh, but, like, yeah. but like how many hours? Of yeah. Oh, but the main character <laughs> doesn't. You play the main character, yeah. and the good thing about the Persona games is the main character doesn't talk as much. That's as true. Yeah. Characters. But there is there is a spoiler to this. Close close your ears and eyes. I'm playing it right now. Okay. Okay. I mean, I finished it. So I I I don't play just the main character. Yeah. In you, Persona I Three. Saw, oh, tell, yeah, tell me yeah, tell yeah, me when yeah. it's over. Yeah. I play like four or five characters. Yeah. Okay. So damn. it's different voices for them. It's all thematically connected. Yeah. So so it's it's more than any other protagonist really. Yeah. Wow. Um, you're we're done. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Good, you're good. But uh, the, the process of recording the game. The, the funniest thing is that I have all this stuff coming out now. Mm. Yeah. Um, and everybody's like. How the fuck are you in everything right now? It was like, <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just like, because it's yeah. like, Alex, again, 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 yeah, again. Yeah. So everybody's like, what are you doing? How are you in so many projects? But like some of this stuff I recorded th four years ago. Oh, three, yeah. four right. years ago. Do, yeah. do you ever worry that you might, if it all just comes out like in one big stretch, that people might get oversaturated on here? That, that is my that big concern? worry right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I have seen... I very much seen so much support from fans who are like, yes, another one, another one. <laughs> yeah. But I've also seen like the craziest thing I've seen. And my, my friend showed this to me is somebody had a conspiracy theory about why I'm in so many things. Uh -huh. And they were like, I, I think I, this doesn't add up. He's just in too many things. He might be like some sort of like figurehead or like industry plant. And I'm like, well, the thing is that I wish I was, <laughs> because that sounds like it's so much easier. Yeah. So, you know? I would have to try significantly. Yeah. I would yeah. have to try significantly less. Yeah, like uh, a lot of the projects that just came out recently, Street Fighter VI, um, Persona 3, Yakuza yeah. yeah, Yakuza, you know, all these projects, you know, Final Fantasy, yeah. all this stuff coming out. I actually did them like years ago. Yeah. Right. My journey with Street Fighter was that I literally auditioned for it like four years ago around the time I was doing Zenitsu. Yeah. Wow. And um, when I had done Street Fighter, at the time I didn't know if I was going to make it because yeah. they were like, we're doing a new character. And then I did it and they were like, okay, bye. I'm like, Are you guys going to continue the project? Yeah. And they didn't, they didn't work on it for like, or they were working on it. They didn't make any oh, significant wow. process mm. for the English recording for three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the whole time I was like, am I still in Street Fighter guys? Am I still, do, are we still doing this? Do I have to start sending yeah, the yeah, emails yeah. again? <laughs> so, so it finally, I was, I was like, hey guys, can you check the Capcom <laughs> team to see if this is still happening? Is this project still happening? And then I recorded Persona like, uh, one or two years ago, mm -hmm. and yeah. then they're all finally just coming out now. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so unfortunate timing. it just seems like, yeah, 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 yeah. And people are like, how are you getting one job after the other? And I'm like, I've been working at this for five yeah, years. People, people are very bad at like imagining a production. Yeah. They're very, very bad. At, like, I'm like, I've been- Imagining when a video could be filmed or- I mean, like, it, it's very much, filmed. it's very easy to look at my resume and be like, oh, he just gets one after the other. But the reality is that I've been like, fucking getting my shit kicked in for five years. Yeah, people, yeah. But people, people don't see that. People yeah, don't that's see true. That. People yeah, see like all these like <laughs> games, for example, coming out back to back and th for some reason think like you guys filmed all this in close to the vicinity. Yeah, that yeah, yeah like out. two days like, ago. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> no, and I, I understand it because like, you know, as a consumer, sometimes you just see something and you're like, oh, him again. Yeah. But yeah. it's it was like three, four years ago for Street Fighter, two to three years ago for Persona. Mm -hmm. And then all these animes like, different months, different times, mm, all these yeah. games. It, it just all comes out at once. And I do worry sometimes. I'm like, maybe people are getting sick of me. But the one thing I have going is that I try my best to make everything sound different from mm, each other. Mm. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, I was, uh, I was watching, I mean, I guess I was watching your work when I was like going to the gym. I was watching like, Solo leveling. Oh, and yeah. just hearing you fucking shout, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm ready to continue, baby. Let's yeah. go. I, I think solo yeah. leveling is the prime example of of what I what I mean when I say that I'm. One thing I got going for me is that I can sound 
different, like yeah. really yeah. different. Mm-hmm. And the reason I know that is because I got so many comments, uh, people being like pre Sung Jinu and post Sung Jinu, and they're like, "Did they change the actor?" <laughs> I'm like, "No, that's still me." That's me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's still me. That's cool. So I, I try to, you know, I try to do different techniques vocally and also like speech wise, how I say certain words or how I, you know, make certain sounds mm. and to make everything a unique experience from each other. Yeah. And that's another thing that an, an like an actor struggles with, especially anime actors is that they get boxed in yeah. to yeah. a role. Like there are so many actors who can do so many things or, you know, they can have the ability to play different characters, but they're always going to keep getting cast as the same type. Mm, of yeah. Character. I think it definitely helps as well. Like when you were telling us about like how you got started and, you know, practice voice acting that you did it through impersonation. Yeah. yeah. I think that really helps because like, not only do you get develop the ear to like, you know, reflect back what you hear, but at the same time, you're kind of cha- you're, you're challenging your voice to like do different voices. Naturally. Absolutely, and and yeah. that's the thing about doing working on dubs mm. is that my goal, like as a dub voice actor, mm. is that when it comes to anime, um, I'm not here to show anybody up. Mm. Yeah, I'm not here to to assert myself. Mm. I'm like I'm this character. Mm. I'm here to interpret a work that's been done and set in stone and I'm mm. here to interpret it and bring it to a new audience. Mm. Yeah. My goal is always to make sure that I channel their passion, <laughs> their efforts and their dedication so that audiences who can't understand or can't uh, don't have the ability to enjoy that medium to the fullest potential that they have the same opportunity mm. to take that information mm. in, in a different way to honor yeah. that character and also honor the Seiyu's performance. Mm. Cause yeah. I'm a huge Seiyu fan mm-hmm. as well. Um, so the top priority for me is always matching their vocal tones. Yeah. yeah. Listening to their pitches where it is everything I, I want to do. I, I try to do it to a T like where yeah. it's like mm. vocally, if you listen to it, you're like, that's the same guy in two different languages mm. yeah and again i don't want to assert myself over anything you mm-hmm. know on all of these performances i don't want to change i don't want to lose anything in the language barrier mm. yeah yeah mm. um well I, I think that reflects in your work considering how passionate you are and everything and also mm. you know the range definitely reflects in your roles as well oh yeah there's it's a lot of leading roles a, a lot of leading roles well, but i mean it's a lot of different types of leading roles mm. from like fucking zenitsu who you, you you were Anos as well, right? Yes, I was. Yeah, yeah, Jesus yeah. So I mean, when when I started, I, I was a teenager, uh, so I had a very high pitched voice. Yeah. yeah. And um, I remember seeing a trailer for for a show I was super into. It was a manga that I loved, Dora Hedoro. Hell yeah! Oh and hell yeah! I saw that. I saw they were making an anime, and I was like, "That's so fucking sick, man! Yeah. <laughs> I would love to be Kaiman, but I sound like a squeaky little kid." <laughs> so maybe one day. Yeah. And yeah. then the auditions came around for him. You're like, "Fuck it, I'll try." And I was like. I got to try. I know this isn't for me, but I got to try. So I did this growly monster voice. And for some reason they listened to it and they were like, that's fucking sick, dude. (laughs) (laughs) So that's one way of doing it. Yeah. 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 So they got me on to do the project and throughout the process of working on Dora Hedoro. Mm. And then I think that's, I I like to joke about this a lot, but I think that's what unlocked my second puberty. Because before that, it's like a false puberty. Yeah. Before that, I was only able to do like high pitch voices. Yeah. I, w- I was only known for like Zenitsu yeah, or like, yeah. Yeah. you know, screaming like high pitch. Yeah. And then when people heard me do Kaiman from Dora Hedoro, they were like, that's the same guy. Yeah. I'm going to be real, he, bro. I'm, 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 I will, I'm finding out now that you did Kaiman. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah Kaiman yeah. and Dora Hedoro. That's, I, I genuinely, I genuinely yeah. didn't so know, man. After I worked on <laughs> that project, like, I, it wasn't, it was only like, the confidence or maybe something biological mm, yeah. in me that change, it unlocked to like a lower register. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then yeah. I That's then I booked Final Fantasy, which was like a deep voice character. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. it was uh in, in the the Japanese say you is uh Osoyan. And yeah, I was like yeah. I was a big fan of him. And so I was learning his voice and imitating his voice. And then started it naturally started becoming a part of my like mm-hmm. vocal cords. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the more I talk, just like when you learn English, the more you talk in something, oh. the more you become that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so yeah, now yeah. I get cast for a bunch of like very deep oh, voice yeah, character. Dude. And yeah. again, like I said, the, nice. the prime example you can hear that is in Solo Leveling, mm. where it's kind of like it reflects the evolution of my career as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As mm-hmm. the episodes go, his voice just keeps getting lower right. and yeah. lower and lower. And the yeah, one thing probably. I want to make sure is that it sounds natural. That yeah. it doesn't doesn't sound like somebody just doing this. Yeah. You know, I want it to sound like clear and resonant and yeah. like 
that's a fucking guy that's sure. doing yeah. that. He so also had a second awakening as he well. D- so he did. Actually, yeah. That's true. Maybe you were born to play. Maybe you were born to play the role, man. Oh, out, man. But yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank on, you so man. much. We is there anything it. you want to shout out or talk about? Because uh, we actually had a ask Alex to bring us three by three, but I don't think we have enough time to go through it. We can just flash it on screen right yeah, now. Yeah, we can yeah, just flash, flash it on screen, on screen. There right is. now. Uh, screen. We were so engrossed in your stories that uh, <laughs> we didn't even get a chance to have a look at this. So thank you for telling us your journey. And, yeah, and thank you for telling us. Is all about yeah. how it was to be a voice actor. And this okay, is a good okay. list. This, so. this, is, this, this is, is a great list. This is, um, this is a Dora Hedoro. I love of the greatness course. of that world. Yeah. I love everything about it. Jojo, I love Jojo, but something about part five, Golden Wind, seeing the boys having a good time on adventures. It's yeah, like I'm, something I've always wanted. It's good oh, yeah. that you can still put that on even after everything you went yeah, through. I think, <laughs> you know, I think, even after the disappointment. I, I think it's like, <laughs> it's part of growing is that you got to learn to let the bitterness go. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, it was part of my journey and I'm still very happy with how, you know, how the dub sounds yeah. with yeah. all my friends in it. And I'm like, you, they sound fucking great. Yeah. Gintama. Hello Gintama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I read the, the manga for this and I like, I did so much, you know, um, I watched so much of the anime when I was younger. It was hilarious. I think it's what kept me like reinterested mm, in it. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, back of and forth. Mob Psycho, uh, love that show. Amazing. It's, it's, oh, it was, you. Amazing. Modern classic. Yeah, yeah, it's made me very emotional many times. Yeah. Demon Slayer. Obviously, I owe a lot to Demon Slayer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. it's a it's a great story that's, you know, as told by the world, is enjoyed by many, many mm-hmm. people. And I, I think it. it's uh, families love it, man. Families it, love it. It's, it's yeah. massive. I've had like yeah. little girls come up to me, they're like six or seven, they're like, I love Demon Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at the parents, I'm like, did you let them watch the moment where like Tanjiro's family get brutalized? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. It's a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball obviously, of course. you know. Yeah. The original, the first manga and yeah. anime that yeah. I ever basically consumed. I'm, Parasite. I'm, I'm surprised about the bottom three. The yeah, bottom the three, bottom yeah. Three. Let's, let's talk about the them. locking in meme. Nats yeah. has had a resurgence. It, yeah. it has a resurgence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're making a live action or something like that. They already yeah. made it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're making a free live action? Korea's making one. Parasite. It's Korean. I I enjoyed the manga, but the anime, I felt, took it to a whole new level. I love the anime. I love the the redesigns. Yeah, I love the fucking dubstep. Uh, It was was a cool show, and I I watched it on Toonami, and I was like, this is sick. Tiger and Bunny. Yeah. I'm a big fan of like- That's a surprise. People love yeah. the show. Yeah. I, I love like superhero suits. So I yeah. love like Sentais mm-hmm. and Kamen Riders. Yeah. And yeah. this was like my my into that in an anime form. Oh, and I love yeah. the dynamic. I, I really love the show. Now yeah. this show, Game the one based, in the middle. Bro. After, watch, after hearing your story, this this uh, this show does not surprise yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. You know? Ping- Basic, yeah, go, go for it, go yeah, for yeah. it. Yeah, Ping Pong the animation. And I've said this on a panel before. Yeah. Like I've yeah. done a, a panel where I'm like, my favorite anime is ping pong the animation and everybody laughed. And I'm like, it's not a joke. Dude, <laughs> it's real. It's an amazing show. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it was like, it was a short show, 12 episodes. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was such an experience for me to watch it because there, I watched this around the time I was getting into anime voice mm. acting as well. Yeah. Literally at the start of my journey mm. into this. And it had a lot of answers for me. As oh, in, yeah. like, it's a show about growing up, about accepting your failures, mm-hmm. accepting your destiny, maybe, you yeah. know, um, and just the reality and what it means to grow up, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and it really inspired me to go after my dreams and not like laze around and, and yeah, watch man. life pass by me. Yeah. So it's emotionally, it's a it's a very deep show for me. And I, I remember watching the last episode and I just started fucking a ball. Oh, oh fuck yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I just good. started just crying, yeah. man. This show means everything to me. And no matter how many times I rewatch it, it's still, it still like hits me so in the gut. Good. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, I, it's like, even the art style, there's so much charm. And oh yeah, also it just goes it. crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and you know, I, I, I can totally see it. Basically everything the characters learn is like in a way reflective of this fucking journey you've had since you were sitting in that Florida yeah. sun yeah, having yeah, yeah. that udon, man. That's true. They, they're wearing tank tops in the show too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's That's true. True. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes Blow sense. Up. Thank you for ta- sharing yeah, yeah. that yeah. journey with us. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? I would love to talk about the, Ma- the Mashley man. The Mashley, the Mashley man. man. Wait, why? Uh, so I, I voice a character in this show. We were just yeah. talking about Mashley. Yeah. He does. Uh, I, I love that show. And um, the funny thing about that show is that I've met a lot of fans in real life and they never get the name right. 
They always is it come Mashley? up. <laughs> Mashley? <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> Mashley. They, I mean, there was a lot of jokes when I was announced yeah. as Ma- yeah. like yeah. A Mash, and they were like, "Oh my God, he looks just like you." Because at the time, I was rocking like that. <laughs> oh that oh bowl right, the bowl yeah. And like, yeah. I, I'm very afraid of smiling in pictures. Right. Where because I don't know. I just feel like I look goofy in them. So I, I, I like in what? All, <laughs> what? every single picture you see me post myself. I'm always doing this. Oh, so, so like the guy. Yeah. 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 So like my headshots are all like, yeah. <laughs> so when they put it side by side, people are like, yeah, you look like him. And I'm like, I guess I kind of do. And I, I feel like I do act like him when the cameras are off. And right, right. Yeah. I'm very like kind of down Reserve. there. So yeah. I, yeah. I really connected a lot with that character. So it, it's funny that people were saying like, Mash Lee. You're the real Mash Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mash Lee. So I would, I would be signing autographs at conventions and they, Families would come up and they're like, God, I just love Mashley. <laughs> and it takes it takes so much power uh, in me not to be like You'll have to correct me all day. Actually, yeah, yeah. it's Mashley. <laughs> magic mus- <laughs> magic and muscle. Uh, so even my agent when they call me and they're like, yeah. So we got a booking for Mashley tomorrow if you would like to do that. I'm like, no, it's not right. Jesus. But just, I'll go for it. You know, yeah, something something that's really fun about the show for me is that um I don't know. I, f- I feel like people are always telling me like it must be really easy to do a character that's so like monotone, monotone, monotone mm-hmm. and, yeah. and baseline. Yeah, no, not really. Yeah, exactly. I w- 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 what, How what do are you your express thoughts emotion on? through monotone? Exactly, right? that's a hard thing to ask someone. Yeah, I think Mastro actually was one of the biggest challenges for me as an yeah. actor. Mm. Um, it was because you know. It's. I recorded the show last year, yeah. right? And I, I told you that I've gone really far in my voice acting journey, mm. and I am cocky. I am arrogant sometimes. <laughs> in the booth, in the yeah. booth, yeah. I will admit that I am. You gotta have some confidence. Yeah, yeah I, have some I am a little bit of a, a prick to work with sometimes. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> on the rare occasions, okay. Okay. It's because I'm very okay. adamant about things that I want to communicate with sure. fans. Yeah. Like yeah. for yeah. example, the Vinland Saga thing, where I was yeah. like, yeah. I yeah. need yeah. this to be this way. Yeah. Yeah. There's been many other shows where I'm like, like I work on solo leveling and. Shout out to, to Caitlin. She's my director. She's yeah. like, she works with me to make sure. Cause in solo leveling, I know it's a big show of the season. So I'm mm-hmm. like, this has to be right. Mm-hmm. We have to yeah, do it yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We literally shipped a fucking episode um, before it aired. And we went to the solo leveling premiere and I watched it and I heard title bonds performance. And I was like, I remember what I did and I can do better. <laughs> so after the premiere, we hugged and she was like, how are you feeling? Wasn't that great? And I'm like, actually, I know we shipped the episode, but <laughs> any chance we can go back and do it again? Oh, oh my yeah. god! So I, she's, you know, I'm very driven to do the things that I want. Hell yeah. So working on a show like Mashal, where the character is, like you said, it's very hard to play monotone. Yeah. Mm. I was working with a director, um, Alex Von David, and he directed some of the great dubs like Konosuba mm. and mm-hmm. uh, Sword Art, and mm. um, working with him he is somebody who is also very passionate and it's very rare when you work in anime um, to get somebody as into yeah, the source right. material yeah. or as passionate as some of the fans are. Yeah. And he's one of those people. And working on this project, um, it was really hard for me because when I do monotone comedy, I have a way I do it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, of course. when you sell a joke being monotone, kind of dry you, style. You, sometimes right? you're yeah. dry. Sometimes you say it in like a sarcastic way. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, you slide it off yeah, or you're yeah, yeah. a little mm-hmm. condescending. But he was very adamant about Mash is dry, not because he's condescending, but it's because that's just the way he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And usually when I work on a, on a comedy show, I'm like, fuck you, old man. I'm young. I know what's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Let me do what's funny. But this was like kind of a check for my ego uh, because yeah. for the first time I, I have a great relationship with Anaplex. Trust someone else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I worked with them on Demon Slayer. I worked with them on Misfit of the Demon King Academy, mm. and for them to have given me, you know, to once again trust me with such mm. an awesome show. And I've been a fan of Mashal. You know, I asked them about it when I saw the trailer. I'm like. You guys gonna show the trailer? And then I was like, hey, when it comes out, can I please audition for this? Yeah. <laughs> so, so to finally get the opportunity to get cast as the lead in a yeah. show that I was like telling them, I'm like, mm. trust me, trust me, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> and then to have that opportunity and to blow it, I was gonna be like, I can't. Right, right, yeah. Right. yeah. So cool. working on it, I was like, he has a lot of ideas that he wanted. Mm. And yeah. I had a lot of ideas that I wanted. 
but I, I just had to be like, well, even though I've done this for so long, he's done this for longer than me, but not just that our ideas of humor are different, mm -hmm. but I just, I feel like for some reason, something's telling me that I need to trust him on this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was a completely new experience for me to work with a guy who's so into it that he's like, yeah. he's opening up perspectives for me that I hadn't thought about before. But that's an important part of it. You yeah. know, right, yeah. I always draw my inspiration from the seiyus. Yeah. Um, but I don't speak fluent Japanese. So sometimes it's really hard for me to pick up the nuances mm -hmm. of stoto performances like uh, Chiaki Kobayashi's performance for MASH. Mm. So he's doing all the shit in Japanese and it's hilarious, yeah. right? It's really funny. Mm. But I don't fully understand why it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Without so, the subtitles. Exactly. Yeah. And sometimes it's animated funny, sometimes it's this or that. So with Technically, an, a slate like that, it's really hard to, to transfer what he did into English. So working with Alex, he, it's funny, Alex, Alex, um, <laughs> he was like, he was giving me a lot of pointers that initially I'm like, I don't know about that. Mm. But the more I did it and the more I worked with him, the more I was Danger like, flow. Yeah. wait a second, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not used to like fully trusting somebody yeah, and then being like, yeah. That sounds good mm. because I'm always very self-critical. Everything yeah, I do, should be, yeah. yeah, everything I look at, I'm like, that's not good enough. Mm. That can be better. But mm. for once to just sit back and listen to somebody else and be like, wait a second, it's working. Mm. Yeah, that's I think that's, that's what's an awesome a, feeling, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like when we recorded the thing. Yeah, you, you completely trusted in Alex as well and yeah. in me. Uh, the two, I, I, I had the double the, Alex, double yeah, Alex yeah, yeah, team yeah. to get me through that. Two oh, yeah, one yeah, Alex yeah. in your right ear, one in your left ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. yeah. And, and it it just came out great. And I just you know that's like back to what I said earlier is that sometimes you work on a project that opens your mind again and mm. yeah. reignites your passion. Mm. And sometimes that's, you know, a project like this where it's, it's, you know, giving me another reason to learn the roots. Well, I think learning things is like one of the big draws of just being interested in anything. You know, um, the reason I love my job, and I'm sure you see it the same way, is that YouTube's like a constantly changing platform. You have to keep learning. And part of, the, part of the challenge is constantly learning new things. Because if I think I've figured everything out, that's probably when I lose interest in it. And, yeah, you know, would feel the same it's way. It's a challenge, yeah. Yeah. But uh, well, thank you so much. Well, Damn, that everyone, was uh, uh, insightful episode. That was a thank hell you. of a journey. That was Hopefully. one of the most interesting journeys of <laughs> that, we've heard. That was, a, that was a blab fest for me. <laughs> oh, no. Sometimes we yeah. This was the, the therapy forward. session episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in here. I'm like, well, guys, <laughs> look forward to uh, Mashley that's coming out soon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mashley coming out. What's airing right now that you're in? Oh, we got solo leveling, Mashal season two. Mashley season two. Right, which is coming out i'm not sure if the dub for season two has been released yet yeah, episode probably. three reload yakuza yeah yeah. yeah yeah demon slayer is right back now. in theaters yeah, yeah, yeah demon yeah. slayer jesus fuck. but okay. you can see more of us <laughs> <laughs> hey look at all these pages look at all the pages yeah, all these pages yeah. yeah. where are they where are yeah. all over, all over the all screen over. what's your favorite i'll grab this one right here <laughs> 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 oh, go. right, is All right. <laughs> but hey if you'd like to support the show then head on over to our patreon patreon.com slash trash taste by the way every single week we do patreon exclusive videos we and yes, we'll we show do. you a clip of this week's one right now roll the clip mood on all right. Oh, 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 <laughs> that volley! <laughs> Look at this volley! Ball. What was what was my what was my what was my mate doing? What was my bro doing? Well, yeah, you controlled the NPC. Okay, <laughs> no, I, I I was like, your bro's doing nothing. Bro's so doing funny. nothing. What is blood doing? <laughs> but hey, if you want to support the show, then head on over to Trash Taste. Sorry, head on over to patreoncom slash Taste. Also follow us on Twitter. Send us your memes on the subreddit, and if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And thank you to Alex for. Yeah. Coming yeah. Yeah, guys, show. aside from the big roles, uh, where can they find you online? Uh, you can find me at Alex Lee VO on Twitter. That's A L E K S L E. -V -O. You guys have that on screen. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. you, you yeah, can yeah. find me at Alex Lee VO on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I have a YouTube channel where I post sometimes. That's sometimes. Yeah. sometimes, sometimes, yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah, guys! Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, on no, today. Thank you very much for coming on, man. This is this is a crazy, crazy world you guys have going on. I, <laughs> I, I respect it a lot. It's Look, it's you know. I'm I'm just hoping that nothing bad happens to you on this trip. Oh no! Yeah. It it because you came on this trip. It absolutely is. Like, you know, okay, I'm not going to get a message. Was the bad thing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now you're so preloading yeah. it. You're yeah, yeah, right, right. This will balance it out. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.